What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the tutorial that everyone has been asking me about. This is going to be the full install LSP for tutorial for 2024. We're going to be installing the base mods and all the plugins that I use in my game. Now this is going to be for Epics and Steam users, okay? Now we're going to be working from the Steam directory, but Epic users, all you have to do is pull up your main directory and follow along because everything we're installing goes into your main directory okay now the first thing we want to do is locate our main game directory so steam users pull up your file explorer go to this PC go to the hard drive where you installed your GT5 and then go to program files 86 go to steam steam apps common and then right here is your grant that little five main directory now before you double click that and open it up uh, this is what I want to say. <clears throat> so, if you only have one copy of GT5 or you have one copy that's and it's modded, you need to uninstall GT5 and reinstall it because you need a backup copy. In other words, you need a back a backup clean copy like this right here, okay? Now, before we open this up, you want to highlight the one that says Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, and then you want to click copy, all right? Go down here, left click, right click, and click paste. Now, only do this if this is a clean copy, okay? You want this so that you have a backup copy of your clean copy, okay? If, you, if I open this one up, you'll see it's a clean copy, all right? This is the one we're going to be modding. But make sure you highlight this, right click it, click copy, go down here, left click, right click, and paste, all right? Uh, Epic users, same thing. You're going to open up your, main, your uh, file explorer, go to this PC, Go to where you install GT5, and then you're going to go to Epic Games, and your GT5 main directory will be right here. Same thing. Make sure you have a clean copy and a clean backup copy. So you need two copies of GT5. Both of them need to be clean, okay? If not, you need to uninstall the game and reinstall it. Now, with that said, once you get to your GT5 main directory out here where it says Grand Theft Auto 5 or GT5 for Epic users, you want to right-click, all right? Highlight it and right-click, and you want to... Uh, pin this to your quick access okay pin to quick access now we can close out of this go to your file explorer right click and you should have one here that says grant the auto 5 just like that once you click it it will open up your main game directory now with that said let's go ahead and minimize this and let's click the link in the description below we're going to be installing the base mods first it's going to bring you to this page right here this is lsp first response and this is just updated a few days ago okay on december 28th so this is a newer version it's going to be built 8757 you want to download the file here then scroll down agree and download and you want the manual install guys always get the manual install never the uh, auto setup just get the manual install click download here put these somewhere you know to get to them, guys i do recommend your desktop move it on to the very next one <coughs> sorry about that guys very next one's going to be Simple Trainer. This was also updated not too long ago. Click download here. Again, put these somewhere you know to get to them. I do recommend your desktop. Next one is going to be Resource Adjuster. Now, the reason we're using this Resource Adjuster is because this helps on a lot of texture loss. And there's another step we'll do too that helps on texture loss. But this right here really helps with texture loss, okay? So make sure you download this. Uh, download the file here. It's going to start downloading. Moving on, the very next one is going to be our Rage and AVUI.dll. We're going to need this for our plugins, the majority of our plugins, okay? You want to click on the Rage and AVUI.zip right here and download it. Next up is going to be Script Hook V. This is for uh, 3095. You want to go down here and click download right here, okay? And it will start downloading. All right, next up is going to be Script Hook V.net. <coughs> Sorry, guys. We're going to use a lot of this for our st st the stuff in our scripts folder, okay? So click on scripthookv.net right here, and it will start downloading. Next up is going to be WinRAR. This is something you're going to have to have to unzip your files. Uh, some people use 7-zip. Some people use WinRAR. I recommend WinRAR. It's, it's just way easier to use. And the way that you're going to do this is you are going to find your language, mine being English right here I'm gonna select English and select the bit of my computer which is gonna be 64 bit okay it's not now if you get this window right here you want to click keep and then you will open it up and you'll double click this and go to the setup wizard and then it will set up okay now once we got everything downloaded let's go ahead and open up our main game directory right here 
If you guys forgot how to do that, you right click on your file explorer and click on Grand Theft Auto V right there. All right, and this is our clean copy right here. Let's open up our LSP for WinRAR. And we are going to highlight everything in here except for the license, okay? And then hold down your control key and deselect the RPH README. We do not need that. Grab everything here. Hold down your left click on your mouse, pull it into your main game directory, and drop it in, okay? Now, everything highlighted in blue is everything that we just installed, all right? Including an up-to-date Rage plugin hook right there, all right? So we can refresh this, we can close out of this, and we can get rid of that shortcut. Next up is going to be our simple trainer. Open that up. You want the trainer v.asi and the trainer v.i. Now you're going to grab both of these, pull them into your main game directory, and drop them in. Okay? All right, we can now close that, get rid of that shortcut. Next up is going to be our GT5 resource adjuster. Open that up, and you just want to open up this folder right here. You want to grab the resource adjuster.asi and then hold down your control key and highlight the resource adjuster.ini. Okay, grab both of these, pull them into your main game directory, and drop them in. All right, this is going to save on a lot of texture loss, guys. Trust me. Close out of that, get rid of the shortcut. Next up is going to be our Rage Native UI. Open that up. You only need the Rage Native UI.dll. That's the only one you need. Grab it, pull it into your main game directory. And drop it in, all right? Close out of this. Get rid of that shortcut. Next up is script hook V. We need to open up the bin folder. Highlight the dinput8.dll and the script hook V.dll, okay? Grab both of these, pull them into your main game directory, and drop them in. It's pretty simple, guys. Very easy. Get rid of that shortcut, all right? Script hook V.net. Open it up. You need three files and only three files in here that you need, okay? You need the scripthookv.net.asi, then hold down your control key and highlight the scripthookv.net2.dll, and then hold down your control key again and highlight the scripthookv.net3.dll, okay? I'm going to say it again, scripthookv.net.asi, scripthookv.net2.dll, and scripthookv.net3.dll, okay? You're going to grab those three files, pull them into your main game directory, and drop them in. All right, let's go ahead and refresh that, close out of this, and get rid of that shortcut. Now, in our main game directory, we are going to navigate into, we're going to navigate into our um, LSPFR folder, and you're going to go to keys, all right? Let me get this pulled over here. There we go. Now, this is what we're going to be manipulating right here, okay? Now, the first thing I want you guys to do is to highlight that word none right there. Highlight it and hit left control C. C is in Charles. This is going to copy that, okay? We're going to use that a lot, all right? And then right here where it says pursuit menu controller key equals D-pad down, highlight that, D-pad down, and hit left control V. V is in Victor, okay? It'll paste the word none in there. All right, next up. We're going to go down to where it says crime report control key equals right thumb. Highlight that right thumb and hit left control V. All right. And then let me just kind of scan through here real quick, guys, so I can get you through this. Uh, perform arrest right here. Uh, you can uh, highlight that. Actually, we'll leave that alone. And if we need to change anything, guys, if anything happens to clash during in, in the, you know, the, the uh, in-game showcase, we'll come back and fix it. Okay, I promise you we will. All right, down here, um, these are okay. Stop peds equals E. Highlight that E and put in capital I, okay? Put in capital I. If you change your keys just the way that I do, our mods are not going to clash, okay? I promise you. And like I said, if they do, we'll come back and fix it, all right? Um, down here where it says, um, let's see right here, perform a rest, E. I think that's all okay. Um, let me see here. Um, right here, guys, where it says, uh, perform a rest. I think we can probably leave that alone. Let me see here. Cause I've got my cheat sheet pulled up over here. Um, let's see. Um, yes. Yeah, so perform a rest. You want to change that E highlight that E and change it to a capital I. Okay. And then, uh, that's it for that one. And then we can go on down here. And let's see, perform frisk, keys, stop heads. 
I think that's all good. Okay, right here, guys. Chase abort join. Uh, this is for control users. D-pad left. Highlight that D-pad left and hit left control V. All right, we don't need that. And right here where it says chase abort join key equals G, highlight that G and hit left control V. Because we're going to need that G key for our um, for our uh, our stop the pad. All right, we're going to need that for our stop the pad. So let's uh, let's go down here. Um, accept call out is good. Don't change none of that. Uh, right here where it says traffic stop start. Okay. Now highlight the A, not the left shift. Leave the left shift alone. Okay, because we're going to have to have that. Highlight the one right here. Traffic stop start. Control key equals A. Highlight that A and hit left control V. All right. Traffic stop interact key equals E. Highlight that E and make it a capital I. All right. And then uh, down here, you also want to uh, change this right here. Traffic stop interact on D-pad right. Highlight the D-pad right and hit left control V. All right. And then let me scroll on down here so we can get through this. Uh, right here where it says toggle police computer equals uh, controller key equals X. Highlight the X and hit left control V. All right. And then um, right here, backup menu, controller key equals right thumb. Highlight that right thumb and hit left control V. All right. And I think that is it for this. Uh, once you're done, guys, make sure you click file and click save. All right. And then close out. Okay, now down here where the LSP for configuration setting is, open that up. Let me get it pulled over here. All right, and then right here, guys, where it says main preload models equals true, highlight that true and type in false, okay? Because this is also going to save on a lot of texture loss, okay? Uh, we're going to go on down, and uh, this one right here where it says Ambient disable escape suspect counter equals false. Highlight that false and type in true. All right. And then we're going to scroll on down. And I believe there's one more here. So right here, chase dot disable camera focus. You want this disabled. Okay. It's very annoying. Uh, highlight the false and type in true. All right. Again, once you're done, go ahead and click file and click save and close out. All right, now we're going to go back to our main game directory. And if you go into your plugins folder, you'll see LSP first response right there. We're going to go back to our main game directory, and we are going to scroll down until we find the Rage plugin hook right here. You want to highlight that, right click, and you want to pin this to your, um, to your taskbar, if I can find it here, wherever it's at. All right, let me let me try it one more time. All right, let's see. Pin the taskbar. Why do I not have that option to pin to my taskbar here? Where is it at? It's usually right here. Okay, so um, I don't know why it's not. Anyway, guys, pin that to your taskbar. If you find it, uh, because mine's already pinned, like right down here. If you guys see it, it's like right down here. Pin this to your taskbar, okay? I need to actually that may be why I'm not seeing it. Let me unpin it here and then let me try it. There we go. Pin the taskbar right there. That's why I wasn't showing it because it was already there. Okay. So once we get that pin, go ahead and close out of your main game directory. And we are now going to click on our Rage plugin hook right here. All right. And it's going to bring up this window right here. And this is a very important part of setting up your LSPFR. Okay. You're going to click accept. All right, and you're gonna, I'm going to get this one. Now, plug-in timeout threshold. If you were to go to my Discord and talk to people in there, like my support team and stuff like that, they're going to tell you to set this to 60,000. So that's what I want everybody watching this video to do. I want you to set yours to 60,000. I'm going to set mine to 20 because mine loads up fine like that, but I want you guys to set yours to 60, okay? After that, never, ever, ever change the console key. Leave it at F4. Don't ever change that, okay? Go over to plugins. Go to load all these plugins on startup. And, high, and click on the LSP first response and go back to load all plugins on startup. Then let's go over to game settings and go to backup game version. This is very important that you do this step. Click backup current version. This is going to give you a backup. So when updates happen, 
we have this to back our game up so we can still play while we're waiting on LSP for our Rage plugin hook and script hook to update. That's how long it takes to back up your game. It doesn't take long at all, okay? Now, if you close that tab and open up the revert game version, you will now see that your supported version is 3095. And when there's an update, you'll have the previous version here and the new version below that, okay? Just a little food for thought. We want to click Save and Launch and then click OK. And we are now going to go into the game. Let's go to load up. So once we get in the game, guys, I get set up. I'll bring y'all back into the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So once we're loaded in, um, it doesn't matter what character you load in with. This will work, okay? Here's what you want to do. You want to you want to pause the game. Go to your start menu. Go over to where it says LSPDFR, and click on that, and then click on character, and then you want to go to nearest police station. All right. So we're gonna go to the nearest police station. Once you get here, you're going to walk up the door and hit E to go in or right on the D-pad, okay? And we are now going to create our character for LSPFR. Well, this is going to be a long video, guys, so just uh, bear with me and be patient. Now, once you get here, you're going to click Go on Duty. It's going to say Consuming Coffee or Devouring Donuts or something like that. Now, you need to select a character to use LSPFR. Would you like to go to the Character Selection menu now? You want to click Yes, of course. Click on OK. And it's now going to take us into the uh, mugshot area here where we can create our character. So, whichever character you want, male or female, doesn't matter. Pick whichever one you want and then go down to Heritage. This is going to be our LSP for our mother and father, okay? So, my mother is Camellia. Let me find her real quick. And my dad is Claude. Right there. Now, I always put all my resemblance towards my father. And I put my skin tone usually about, you know, halfway like that. And then we're going to hit backspace and go back. Go down to features. It's going to be uh, your brows, your eyes, and all that stuff. Now, the easiest way to do this is to set all these to standard. That's how I do it. Um, but if you want to, you can take your mouse and you can go in here and really manipulate these. Like, you can move this around and all that. But I just set them all to standard. just makes it a little easier like that and it goes a lot quicker. Once you're done, hit backspace. Go down to appearance and click on appearance. It's going to be your hair color, eye color, hairstyle, all that good stuff. Now let me get my hairstyle here and you will slowly see my character come to life. This is your eyebrows right here. All right. And then your, your facial hair. There's Leo Justice right there. And then the only other thing I changed, guys, you can do like skin aging, blemishes, skin complexion, moles, freckles, skin damage, all that good stuff. Eye makeup for the ladies. Um, I normally just change my eye color from green to emerald. And then once you're done, you can hit backspace and then go to save and continue. Now, this is where you're going to name your character, all right? So we're going to backspace and I'm going to name mine Leo Justice, okay? Once you're done, make sure your spelling's correct and hit enter. Okay, and you want to click on the one that is, that's on your name. You want to highlight your name that says use under your name right there on your name and click enter. Okay. And now we're going to go over to the police locker. And we get to put on our first uniform and then get our police car. And we'll be good to go. All right. Now, police locker. We want to go into there and make sure the agency is on LSPD. Okay. Go to outfit. Go to the right one time. That is your outfit. Now, if you want sunglasses. You can go down to Advanced Customization, go to Props, Prop 1, and then you can start selecting your glasses here. What the world was that? All right, I like those glasses, and we'll get some eyeglasses here. Uh, but you, you guys can see there's all kinds of different shades. You can go through all kinds of different textures. So I'm going to select mine. Let me get mine here real quick. I think that's the ones right there. Once you've got what you want, guys, hit Backspace, Backspace again, Backspace one more time, and then hit Confirm. And then go down to Police Garage and click Enter. All right, now, remember, guys, we're going to be installing ELS, so we have to have a car that is ELS compatible. And the only car in this game that is ELS compatible is the Vapid Police Cruiser, but you have to make it that way, okay? So once you get here, select the Police uh, Vapid, the Vapid Police Cruiser, go down to Components and click on that and turn both extras off, okay? Make sure both of these extras are turned off, all right? If not, it will not be ELS compatible, okay? Make sure you backspace, go to modifications, click apply all, go back and hit select and continue. And we are now going to go on duty for the first time. All right. And we are now on duty, guys. Now, 
before we make any traffic stops or anything like that, this is what we're going to do. Um, we are going to, we're going to set up our simple trainer. Let me get through here. Now to turn on your police lights, okay, for, um, for keyboard users, it's going to be the E on your keyboard, okay? Now if you hold down the E, you get that sound right there, okay? Let me turn that off real quick. Alright, now if you hit the E to turn your lights on, and if you hit the J, it will turn your sirens off, but leave your lights on. So the J, J is in John, turns your sirens off and turns them on, okay? E will turn your lights and sirens off at the same time. Now, controller users, you are going to click on your left thumbstick to turn your lights on, and then you're gonna hold down on the left thumbstick to get that sound right there, okay? Or you can hit the J, turn off your sirens, all right? And then click your left thumbstick, turn your lights off again, okay? What is that fire truck doing? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up our simple trainer, all right? So let's hop out of the car. All right. Now to pull up our simple trainer, what is this guy doing? To pull up your simple trainer, you're gonna hit, let's go somewhere a little bit more discreet instead of being over here where all the traffic is and it's noisy and so we're gonna we're gonna spawn down uh, to the airport here, guys, where it's a little bit more quiet. Now, if you guys want to know how I did that, all I did was I went to my my uh, map, I selected a waypoint like this, and then I hit delete on the keyboard, and it spawns me there. Okay. Now let's set up our simple trainer. Let's hop out of the car. Stupid plane. All right, now, simple trainer. We're gonna hit F3 on the keyboard, F3, all right? This is gonna bring up our simple trainer. Now, the way you navigate on your simple trainer is gonna be your numpad, so make sure that your num lock is on. If it's not on, this will not work, okay? Two will go down. Eight will go up. Five selects. Six goes right. Four goes left and zero goes back, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into options. So go to options and hit five to select. Now I leave my God mode off. I don't have my God mode on. It just makes it more realistic that way. But we do wanna hit eight to go up and go over to infinite stamina and you wanna hit five to enable that, okay? You want your infinite stamina enabled, all right? Up here, you can do max health, max armor, and clean your player clothes. So if you get bloody or something like that, you can go into this menu right here, go to clean player clothes and hit five to select and that will clean your player's clothes up, okay? Uh, now we're gonna hit six to go to the right and over here, we're gonna hit eight and we're gonna go up to show four Zancudo prison on map. You wanna enable that and you wanna enable reveal full map. Remember five on your numpad is, an, is select, okay? So that enables things, all right? Now, let's hit two to go back down. Anytime you make changes, go to your save settings to trainer V to I and I right there, hit five, and hit five again to save your settings, okay? Now, let's go down to um, the, uh, let's go up to set menu, colors, font. See where I'm at right there, guys? Set menus, color font. Uh, colors, font. <laughs> and hit five to go into there. Now, if you hit six, it will start changing the colors here and I'm gonna change mine. So I'm hitting six to change the colors. You can hit six or four to go either way to change the colors. And I am going to change mine to cyan and then the menu highlight color, which is below that, I'm gonna change that to a green, like a, uh, I think it's a lawn green I use right there. All right, so now we've got our menu set. Hit zero to go back again. Go to save settings to trainer v.ini, hit five, hit five again to save it. Now we're gonna hit zero to back out, okay? Now let's go down to vehicle options. Now if you're like me and you like your vehicle to be looking good at all times and stay clean, you want to enable God mode on your vehicle, okay? Now go down to vehicle God mode settings and if you want it to be clean at all times, go to vehicle God mode settings and that auto clean right there, enable that, okay? Remember five enables, okay? Hit zero to go back and then we're gonna hit six to go over. All right, you want to enable the vehicle boost. All right, and then we're gonna go up and we're gonna enable infinite boost. All right, don't, don't enable the nitro, it's, it's, it's a little confusing, just don't enable that. 
Then we're going to go up to engine power multiplier and enable that. Then we're going to go back down with our two and set engine power multiplier and hit five. And we're going to set this to about 70, okay? That makes your police car plenty fast and makes it where you can't lose suspects, okay? Once you got it set, hit zero to go back. And then I think that's it for here. Go back again and again go to options and go over to save settings to trainer v.ini and save those settings. That way it saves your INI file in your main directory. Now let's go down to um, time. Now time right here, this is your time. So you can go from noon, you can go to afternoon, evening, night, ahead one hour, back one hour. You can sync the time of the system with the time of the day here wherever you live at. Real time durations right there. You can enable that if you want to, that's up to you. Uh, this frees the time so the time won't move for you, okay? This right here, if you hit your six or four, uh, it will take the time down, and this will take the time back, okay? So six takes it. So six takes it uh, down, four takes it back. So we're gonna set the time about right there. I'm gonna show you guys something here. We're gonna set the time to about 1940, and we're gonna freeze the time, okay? Now, let's go down to weather. This right here does extra sunny, clear, neutral, smog, foggy, overcast, clouds, clearing, rain, thunder, snow, blizzard, um, light snow. This does Christmas. Um, you can force weather here, so if you want it to be sunny at all times, you can enable that, and it will be sunny at all times, okay? And then there's other weather here, too, that you can do, like... Um, you know, clouds, clearing, rain, thunder. It's its all here, guys. I keep mine on extra sunny, uh, but I don't force it. I, I just leave it that way. Now, right here, you can enable snow. People want to know how I get snow in my game. Okay, so you cannot do snow on this version of GT5. That is, that is rather weird that we can't do snow on here. So, all right. Well, that's weird. All right, so that one doesn't work. All right, so make sure you're set on extra sunny, guys, so you can see what you're doing. Hit zero to go back. Now, we're going to go to weapons and set up our weapons. First thing you want to do in here. Never select get all weapons, okay? If you do, you're gonna crash your game most of the time, all right? Uh, remove all weapons. Click on that. We wanna clear our weapons out. And then we wanna go down, and you wanna make sure unlimited ammo is enabled, okay? Um, actually, let's not enable that for right now. Let's leave that un uh, disabled. So go down to, we're gonna set up, we're gonna get our police weapons, okay? So the first thing we wanna do is enable a parachute. Make sure you have a parachute uh, on your character. And then you want to go down and get a nightstick, okay? That's going to be one of your police weapons. And then also go down and you want to get a flashlight. All right, there's your flashlight right there. And then go on down and get you a pistol. And then whichever one you want as a backup pistol, okay? I get the pistol and the combat pistol. That's what I get for my backup pistols, that one and the combat pistol. Now let's go down to stun gun, select that. That's going to be your stun gun. Make sure you get the first one, not the second one. I'll show you the difference. The second one takes longer to recharge. So don't just make sure you get the first one there, okay? All right, and up there's your weapon wheel. As you see, that one recharges a lot faster, okay? Now we're going to hit six to go over. And over here, we're going to get a pump shotgun. And we are going to get the um, carbine rifle right here. All right, want the carbine rifle. Now, let's go back, okay? Let's go back over, and we want to go down to Weapons, Attachments, and Tent Menu. Go to there, and we're going to set up our flashlight modifications. Now, for this gun right here, uh, up there you'll see Extended Clip. You're going to hit 6 to go right, and you're going to enable that flashlight by hitting 5, okay? That enables the flashlight on your gun. You can put suppressors on it, whatever you want here, okay? It's completely up to you. Now, let's go into our weapon wheel and select our shotgun. All right, enable the flashlight on that. And then go to your pistol. Enable the flashlight on that one. Backup pistol, same thing, flashlight. All right, now that we got everything set up and we're ready to go, we can go back. Now, I'm gonna show you how to save these weapons, okay? You're gonna go down to weapons, load save menu. All right, you're gonna weapons low save menu, click on that, and then save all weapons to slot one. All right, now all your weapons are saved. Now, anytime you come into the game, okay, and you wanna load up those weapons that we just set up, you're gonna come to this menu right here, 
You're going to go to weapons load save menu and you're going to go up to load all weapons to slot one. You're going to click on that and it's going to load all your weapons, okay? Again, go to options, go over to save settings to trainer V.I and I and save your settings. We are now ready to go, okay? Now we can go make a traffic stop. Now you'll notice the car is dirty, right? The car is dirty, but as soon as I get in, it'll be clean. Now watch. See that? It cleans it right up. Now let's spawn back into town here. Let's spawn back over towards uh, Los Santos. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to conduct a traffic stop. The way you do it, you're gonna pull in behind somebody and you are gonna hit the left shift key, okay? The left shift key. It's gonna blip them as a red dot on the map. You are then going to light them up by hitting the E on your keyboard or for controller users to be uh, click on your left thumb signal. This guy's probably gonna run. Now, I'm glad he's running. If he runs, you're gonna hold down on your, on your right thumb stick to activate the pursuit, okay? And it's not, I think we disabled that, yeah. No, we did not, no, I did not disable that. All right, this guy's running. You can hold down the B. Hold down the B on your keyboard, guys, B. B is in boy. And that will initiate the pursuit. And you now have a pursuit. Now, if you want to terminate this pursuit, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, you're going to hit N on the keyboard, N is in Nora. You're going to go down to terminate pursuit and hold down the enter key. And that will terminate the pursuit, all right? That's how you do it. Um, I think that's pretty much it because I don't really need to show you how to do this vanilla because we're going to have a lot of plugins installed. So I'm going to take you guys back to the desktop and we need to manipulate our INI &I file for our trainer. Um, and then we're going to start installing some plugins. So I will see you guys back on the desktop. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, guys and girls, is we're going to go into our main game directory, right? Click on your file explorer and go to GT5 right there. And in here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find our INI &I file for our simple trainer. So we need to scroll down until you find the trainer V dot INI right here, the configuration setting, open that up. And there's a few adjustments that we need to make here. So let's get this, uh, let's get this up real big where we can see it. And once I find him here, guys, I'll let you know, let's scroll down. There's only a couple things that we have to change in here. It's not much, just a couple of things. Uh, let me find them here real quick. I think I might have passed it. But there's a couple things that you need to change or, you know, for one, you'll spawn red vehicles behind you. Enemies, like enemy vehicles, you'll spawn them behind you. And we don't want to be doing that when we're hitting these keys. And we're going to be using these certain keys here. Uh, let's see where it is at. Uh, where is that key bind? It's been so long since so I've had to go through here and do this because I've got an INI file. I just drop into here and it overwrites it. So it's been a long time since I've had to look for this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so right here, guys. Uh, spawn a driver key equals 33. Highlight that 33 and just change that to a zero, okay? And there's one more here we got to change where it says right here, default page down, uh, the add waypoint. You want to highlight that 34, highlight that 34, and just put zero, okay? That's literally all we had to change in here. Make sure you click File and click Save, and then close out. And now we can get back to installing stuff. So let's go ahead and minimize the directory. Don't close it, just minimize it. And let's go ahead and click the link in the description below. And yes, we are going to have to have open IV for some of this stuff, guys. It's going to bring you to this page right here. This is going to be skin control now. This is what puts tattoos on my character and all that. So if you guys want this, you can download it. You just click download here. And let me say this. All this stuff is safe to download. I've been doing this for almost six years. And I have never, ever, 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 ever caught a virus doing this. And I have so many people ask me, is it safe? Is it safe? If you don't think it's safe, just don't do it. Because if it wasn't safe for one, I wouldn't be putting videos out on it, okay? That's just the bottom line. It's the only thing I need to say about it. If you don't think it's safe, just don't do it. But don't come to my comment section asking me if it's safe. Because if it wasn't safe, you wouldn't see this video, okay? All right, so uh, right here, guys, click download the file here. Again, put them somewhere you know how to get to it. Your desktop would be good. Speed radar light by Bajojo. Now, in these particular mods right here, if you click this button right here and it goes to another page, don't freak out. Just close out of the page, go back, and click download. And if it does it again, close out. And then click that X because the Bajojo's websites are kind of messed up. Uh, but you might have to click it a few times. 
to um, get it to work right. I don't know why his websites are like this, but they are, and they're super, super annoying. Uh, but you just got, there it goes right there. So now it finally downloaded. Moving on to the next one, guys, it's going to be automatic siren cutout. Uh, this is by Rich. We're going to click download the file here, agree and download. And you want the main file, guys. You want the main file right there. Click download here. Next one up is going to be ELS, very important mod we're going to be using. Uh, click download here, agree and download. Again, you want the uh, you want the 105, the main file there. All right. Next up is going to be Better ELS Reflections by Matthew Skeed, uh, who made myself and Jeffrey Gamer contributors to this mod. Uh, let's go ahead and click download here. And you want the main file right here. Click download here. Moving on to the next one is going to be Call Out Interface by Opus 49. This is a very, this is a, these are all must have mods, guys. But this one right here is just an amazing mod. I love this plugin. Click download here, agree and download, and you want the 141, the main file. Click download here. All right, next one up is going to be MDT Textures for Callout Interface. Now, what this does, it takes your vanilla callout interface and it puts color to it like this. So without this, it's just kind of like black and white. It's a black and white color. And it adds this right here, and these are this is really cool to have. So click download the file here. It's going to start downloading. Uh, next up is going to be Queer the Way V. Download the file here. And then agree and download. That's going to start downloading. Up next is going to be another Jojo mod, guys. Another one of these janky sites. It's There's no viruses, so don't worry about it. This is Compulite, okay? Go down here. Again, if you click this and get a page, close out. Click it again. If you get it, close out. And then click that X right there. Click it again. It's going to give you several windows, guys. You just got to keep closing it out until it finally downloads see that you just it just takes some patience people see that page the first time they freak out like oh my god is it a, a virus no it's not a virus chill it's not a virus realistic usable uh, charges and citations we're going to be using this for our compulite click download the file here and that is going to start downloading next up is going to be custom environmental lighting for ELS this is going to go into our scripts folder click download here agree and download next up is going to be custom pullover Download the file here, agree and download, and you want the main file 1101. Click download here, all right? Next up is going to be Deadly Weapons. This is this makes your game more realistic. This will keep you on your toes, guys. This mod will keep you on your toes when you're, you can't just go out and gunfire without being in cover no more. you got to stay in cover. If you get hit, you're dead. That's it. But that's what this is for to make the game realistic. Click download the file here, agree and download. It's going to start downloading. Up next is going to be Fast Draw. Uh, I will explain all these mods of the game instead of explain them as I go here. Okay, so fast draw, download the file here, agree and download, and you want the 1.2, the main file right there, click download here. Next up is going to be delete vehicle. This comes in handy when you're in a, when you're in a big traffic jam and you got to get rid of vehicles, you got a police scene going on, and you want to get rid of vehicles, this mod is the one to have. Click download here. Agree and download, and you want the main file, the 112 right there. Click download here. Up next is going to be Open IV. We're going to have to have this for a few plugins. For example, Grammar Police, the LiDAR gun. We're going to have to have it, guys. So download Open IV here. It's going to download your setup, and you're just going to grab this setup. Let me minimize this. You're going to grab this. You're going to pull it to your desktop like that, okay? See, I've already got mine out here, but you're going to pull this to your desktop and drop it, okay? That's what you're going to do, all right? So let me go back to the browser here. Then next is going to be the LiDAR gun by Opus 49. Opus does a lot of good work. Download the file here, agree and download, and you want the 1101, the main file, download here. Next up is going to be Clipboard and Notepad by Echo. We want to download the file here, agree and download, and you want the 1.2. The, you always want the main file, guys. You always want the main file. Click download here. And last but certainly not least... It's going to be our Lemon UI. We're going to have to have this for our Simple Trainer. I mean, I'm sorry, not Simple Trainer, our Simple HUD, okay? So click download the file here. Once you've got everything downloaded, let's go ahead and let's open up our main game directory. Now, the first thing we're going to do, okay, we are going to close our main game directory, and we're going to set up our Open IV. So get that Open IV thing that I showed you guys how to drag your desktop, get that out, and you're going to double-click it, okay? We're going to double-click on that, click Continue. You're going to accept the terms of agreement. Click continue. Now, in this part right here, you cannot change the installation path, okay? So keep that in mind. If you do not have enough space on your C drive, I don't know what to tell you. 
Um, but you cannot change the installation path. But r- the installation path. But right here, you want create desktop uh, create desktop icon checked, and you want run OpenIV after installation unchecked. Okay, so click continue. Click yes. It's now going to install OpenIV for us, and I will show you guys how. This, I want to show you how to set up your mods folder. Um, you know how to get your patch days and all that. I'm fixing to show you how to do that. So pay close attention. Click close. Now you should have a short cop, a, a shortcut on your desktop right here for OpenIV. You're going to grab this shortcut. You're going to pull it down to your taskbar just like this, and you're going to drop it in. Now once it's down in your taskbar, you can take the one on your desktop and you can get rid of it. Okay. Now the one on your taskbar, go ahead and click on it, and you want Windows for Grand Theft Auto Five. Click on Windows. Now this is where we're going to find our GT5 location, okay? It's just like finding your main game directory. You're going to click Browse, all right? You're going to go to this PC and the hard drive where you install GT5. Epic users, same thing. You're just going to go to your hard drive and then go to Epic Games and pull up your GT5 main directory. Just follow along. It's the same thing. Go to the C drive, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you're going to click this one time and then select folder and if you got this right here in green successfully gt5.exe version yada 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 open iv can work with this file then click continue okay click continue it's now going to open up our open iv and we're going to create a mods folder here in just a second i'm going to show you guys how to do it okay i'm going to show you a few little pro tips here so first and foremost your edit mode needs to be on. If you want to be in edit mode at all times, go over here to Tools. Do this, guys. Just do this step. Go to Tools. Go to Options. Go to the General tab and change your default work mode from Read Only to Edit. All right. Let's go. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. Go from Default Work Mode from Read Only to Edit and then click Close. Now, every time you open up a IV, you will automatically be in edit mode, okay? So click Edit Mode. You're going to get this blue banner right here. Click ASI Manager. Now, if for some reason your ASI loader is not installed, install it, but it should be by default. Go ahead to openiv.asi, click install. Make sure both boxes are checked. Click yes. Go ahead and, cl- and click install open camera as well, and click close. You will now notice you have a mods folder here, okay? It's empty. That's all right. That's okay for right now. Let's close out of OpenIV. Go to your file explorer, right-click, and click on your GT5 main directory. Open it up. You will now notice you have a mods folder that is also empty, and that's okay. Go back to your main game directory. We want to highlight the update folder and hold down the control key and highlight the time 64 folder. Right click, click copy. Okay. Then double click the mods folder in your main game directory. Go in here, left click, right click, and click paste. This is now going to paste our update and time 64 folder into our mods folder, giving us a back door to open IV. Okay, now as you guys can see, this is going to take a little bit to do. Mine's going to take about three minutes. Once it's done, I will bring you all back into the video. All right, so once we got those files copied over, ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back. Actually, let's stay in our mods folder. I'm going to show you guys something. If you go into your mods folder and go to update, time 64, and DLC packs, you will see now that you have all of your DLC packs in here uh, right down to the latest patch day, um, and you are ready to go. All right, so now you have all your patch days and a mods folder. Let's go back to our main game directory. You should now be in uh, common Grand Theft Auto 5. The last part of your pathway should say GT5, okay? So once we got everything downloaded and we're ready to go, uh, you can go ahead and grab this OIV setup uh, shortcut on your desktop and you can throw that into your recycle bin, okay? Now let's open up our skin control when we are here. And you're going to grab the INI and the ASI file from the WinRAR, pull it into your main game directory, and drop it in. Like I said, all these plugins, all these mods go directly into your main game directory. There might be one or two that don't that might go in some other pathway, but uh, 98% of these go into your main game directory. That's why I said Epics. You can grab your, pull up your main game directory and follow right along, okay? So let's close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. Open up your speed radar light here. Double click on the folder. Grab the plugins folder, pull it into your main game directory, and drop it in. Okay? Close out of this. Get rid of the shortcut. Now, I know we're installing a vast amount of plugins here, guys. Don't freak out about it, okay? It's not going to mess anything up or hurt anything. What we're going to do when we get done installing these plugins and we get them manipulating the files, we're going to re- all restart our PCs, and I'll do the same thing. 
We'll restart our PCs. We'll come back in. We'll go into the game, and I'll show you how every one of these plugins work, okay? Open up your automatic siren cutout WinRAR. Double-click on the GT5 folder inside of the WinRAR right there. And grab the plugins folder and the input manager.dll. Pull them into your main game directory and drop them in, okay? Close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. Always refresh your directory when you're done, guys, so it pulls it back to the top. Uh, open up your ELS WinRAR. Double-click on the installation files folder. Double-click on the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Grab everything in here. Everything. Pull it into your main game directory and drop it in. All right. Refresh. Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut. Open up your better ELS Reflections WinRAR. Double click on the folder there. Double click on the folder again. And we want to go to the brighter folder. Okay. And we want the brighter with higher range and brighter takedowns. That's what we want. Okay. This one down here is less than that, but we want the middle one here. Just double click on that and grab the ELS.ini, pull it in your main game directory, drop it in, and replace it. This will make your reflections really pop, okay? Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut, all right? Let me get some of these pulled up here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's open up our Carlisle interface WinRAR. Double click on the GT5 folder. Grab everything in here, okay? Everything. Now remember, we installed a RageNativeUI.dll, so in this WinRAR, hold down your control key and deselect that RageNativeUI.dll. You do not need it because we have one in our main game directory, okay? So make sure you deselect that everything else. We're going to pull in our main game directory. We're going to drop it in, just like so. Refresh it, close out of this, get rid of the shortcut, okay? Open up your MDT textures for callout interface, double click on the folder. Double click on GT5 folder right there, grab the plugins, pull it into your main game directory, drop it in, and you're gonna replace the files, all right? And this now made your uh, callout interface MDT window very colorful, okay? So close out of that, get rid of the shortcut, open up your Quit of the Way V. Now this right here, your Quit of the Way V.dll, go to your main game directory and double click on the plugins folder, and we're going to grab this clear the way v.dll from our WinRAR, pull it into our plugins folder, and drop it in, okay? Then go back to your main game directory. And you should be in the last part of your pathway. It should say Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Close out of this. Get rid of that shortcut. Open up your CompuLite WinRAR. Double click on the CompuLite folder. Grab the plugins folder only. Pull it into your main game directory and drop it in, all right? Close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. All right, open up your CompuLite Chargers and Citations WinRAR. Now, in your main game directory, you are going to double click on the plugins, you're gonna double click on LSPFR, and you're gonna double click on the CompuLite folder right here, okay? Now, for me personally, I only drop the citations. I do not drop the charges with it. If you wanna drop the charges and citations both, you can. But the only thing is, when I show you in game how this is gonna work, our charges are going to be different if you do so, okay? So I'm, if you want to replace these, you're going to grab both of these. You're going to drop them into your CompuLite folder and replace the two files. If you just want to replace the citations, grab only that one, drag it and drop it, and replace the file, okay? All right? And then we're going to go back to our main game directory. We're going to close out of this and get rid of that shortcut. Now, in your directory, the last part of your pathway should say Grand Theft Auto V, just like mine does, okay? Open up your custom environmental lighting. All right, now this is going to go into a scripts folder. Now, being the fact we don't have one, we're going to create one, okay? So go into your main game directory down here in the little buffer zone where my arrow is. Right-click and click New. Click Folder and just simply name this scripts. All lowercase. S-R-I-P-T-E-S. Just like I'm sorry, S-R-I-P-T-S. Just like that. Once you've got that, open it up. Grab the custom environmental lighting.dll only from your WinRAR, pull it into your scripts folder, and drop it in, okay? Then go back to your main game directory. Now, the last part of your pathway should say GTA 5. I know I'm stressing these pathways a lot, but I don't want anybody to get anything wrong, okay? All right, let's get rid of that shortcut. Move on to the next step. Next up is custom pullover. Open that up. Grab the plugins folder only, pull it into your main game directory, and drop it in. Close out of that. Get rid of the shortcut, all right? Next up, let's open up our Deadly Weapons WinRAR. Double click on the Deadly Weapons folder. 
All right, we're going to grab everything in here. Okay, you're going to hold down the control key and deselect the readme, all right? You're going to grab everything else that you see, pull it into your main game directory, and you're going to drop it in, all right? Just like so. Okay? Then get rid of that shortcut. Open up our fast draw, guys. Our fast draw. All right, double click. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't mean to rush. Double click on the fast draw folder. Double click on GTA 5 folder in the WinRAR. And you can just grab this scripts folder right here, the scripts folder from your WinRAR pool into your main game directory, and it will merge with your scripts folder. If you open up your scripts folder, you will see your fast draw in here, okay? And we'll manipulate these files here in just a minute. Make sure you are in your main game directory, guys. The last part of your pathway should say GTA 5, all right? Open up your RPH delete vehicle. WinRAR, grab the plugins folder, pull it in your main game directory, and drop it in. All right, get rid of that shortcut. Let me pull these up here. Open up your LiDAR gun, WinRAR. Double click on the LiDAR folder. Double click on the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder inside the WinRAR. Highlight everything. Hold down your control key and deselect the Rage Native UI.dll. Grab the IPT common.dll on the plugins folder. Pull it into your main game directory and drop it in. Go ahead and replace the file, guys. You're going to have to replace it, okay? All right. And then go now, before we close out of this in your LiDAR gun, go back. And then open up the vintage pistol textures right here, okay? We are going to have to put these in so the LiDAR gun shows up. Let's open up that readme, okay? And let me pull that over here. Now, let's open. This is why we did our mods folder in OpenIV, okay? Because of this stuff right here. Let's open up our OpenIV. Click on that. You want Windows for Grand Theft Auto V. And we're going to follow this pathway right here to replace those files, okay? So, this is what you need to do. You want to go to Mods. Okay, make sure your edit mode is on, guys. Make sure edit mode is on. Go to mods, and then what does it say? Go to update, then go to time 64, then DLC packs. That's probably patch day 8. Yep. So scroll down in your, in your patch days right here until you find patch day 8, which is right here. Double click it, and then you want to go to dlc.rpf, and then what does it say? Time 64, and then you go to models, and then what else? CD images. And then the weapons.rpf is the one you want right here. Double click that. Okay. Now let's close out of this readme. And these are the files that we are going to replace. Now, the quickest way to find these, okay, without having to scroll through everything, you're going to highlight one of these files in your WinRAR and you're going to click it again till it highlights like that. Right click and click copy. Then go into the search tab of your open IV right here where my cursor is and hit left control V. V is in Victor. And this is going to pull up your um, vintage pistol that we're replacing. Now, if you open up the YDR right here, this one right here, open it up. And if it does that, close it and just open it again. You're going to see it's going to replace this vintage pistol. Now, I'm showing you this for a reason, okay? Now, let's close that. And you want to grab the vintage pistol files from the WinRAR. Not the readme, just the vintage pistol files from the WinRAR. Pull these into your open IV and drop them in. Now, if you open up that YDR... You see the radar gun. There it is, guys. There's the radar gun, okay? Now, we can close out the LiDAR gun, WinRAR, and we can get rid of that shortcut in your WinRAR. Make sure you go to that search tab up there and clear it out, okay? And then go to File in your OpenIV and click Close All Archives and close out of OpenIV. All right? Now, let's open up our clipboard WinRAR. Double-click on the clipboard folder. Grab the plugins folder only. Pull it into your main game directory. Drop it in. All right, get rid of that shortcut. Let's open up our Lemon UI that we need for our Simple HUD, okay? Now, in here, don't get confused. Now, in our main directory, go to your main directory and open up your scripts folder right here. Open it up. And then inside your WinRAR, you want the one that says SHVDN3, which is scripthookv.net3, okay? Open that folder up. And you literally only want the script hook, you literally only want the lemon UI dot shvdn3.dll. That's the one you want. Pull that into your scripts folder and drop it in. And it looks like uh, we already have one there. I don't know how I already have it. Did we already install this? Okay, go ahead and. Okay, so that mod, the mod we installed came with one. Never mind, guys. Anyway, that's all you have to install. Close out of that, get rid of the shortcut. And then let's go back to our main game directory. Now we are going to manipulate our files, okay? So here's what we are going to do. Let's see here what we need to manipulate. So let's scroll down in our main game directory until we find that skin control, okay? 
We want to find that skin control.ini file, which is right here. You want the configuration setting, okay? All right, and right here where it says hotkey 119, put your cursor behind that nine and just backspace until the ones are gone. Just like that. Because that's the key by me we want to set at. We don't want it set on, I think that's F8 to set on by default. This is going to be set on the tab key so we can use F8 for our grammar police, okay? So once you got that, click file and click save. And close out. All right. Now let's go back to the top of our main game directory and we are now going to navigate to plugins, okay? And then from here, we're going to go into the RPH delete vehicle configuration setting. We're going to open this up, all right? Let me bring it over here. And in here, the only thing you have to do is where it says delete key equals L, highlight that L, and change that to a capital D, okay? Leave the shift key where it is. That's all you need to do, all right? Click file and click save and close out. Now, from here, we're going to go into our LSPFR folder, okay? And we're going to start manipulating the other files. So, let's start with the clipboard, okay? Let's open up the clipboard configuration setting, all right? And what you want to do in here is you can leave, you want to change, okay, so right here where it says clipboard key equals Y, change that from a Y and make it a capital T. And then change the notepad key from a T to a Y, okay? There's a very good reason we're doing that, okay? Trust me. Down here. Uh, where it says notepad modify key, highlight that left control key and hit left control C, C is in Charles. Then go above that where it says clipboard modifier key, highlight that left shift and hit left control V. Just like that. That away now, um, our, um, our uh, key binds are left control Y and left control T for our, for our key, our notepad and our clipboard, okay? So now you can click file and click save and close out. Now let's go on down to CompuLite. So we're going to open up the CompuLite configuration setting right here. All right. The reason it's going to the other side of my screen, guys, because I have notes pulled up over there. So, all right. So CompuLite, we're going to manipulate this right here. It says open computer key equals Z, highlight that E and make that a capital X. Okay. And then I think this down here is good. Um, right here, guys, where it says give citation key equals page down, highlight that page down and make that a capital X. All right. Now, the only thing different we're going to do is if you guys will see right here, we have the modifier key to give citation example given. Uh, we want to highlight this left shift right here and we want to right click and copy and then go down to where it says give citation modifier key, highlight that left control key and hit left control V. Okay, and it's now left shift X to give your citation to the suspect. Okay, um, let's move on down here. Now, right here where it says um, this is for controller users. You don't need this on your controller. Open computer button, D-pad right, highlight the D-pad right and type in capital N-O-N-E. None. You don't want that on your controller. Okay, you don't want to use that. All right, let me scroll on down here. Right here where it says the waiting duration for court cases. I like to change this to 24 so it comes up a little quicker okay now right here a lot of people ask me how do i get the game to keep from being paused when i pull up my CompuLite. this is how i do it right here whether the game will be paused when you open up the CompuLite. you want to change this from a yes to a no okay and i think that is it i think that's it for CompuLite. so now you want to click file click save and close out okay now, let's go on down here. I don't think we have to do anything under deadly weapons. I don't think we have to do anything in there. I'll check real quick just to see, but I don't think we have to manipulate anything at all. Um, yeah, everything in there is fine. So, um, All right, next up is going to be our LiDAR gun. So let's open that up. All right, bring that over here. Now, I've got my notes pulled up here for the lidar gun okay so we're going to change it the way that mine has changed and i promise it will not clash okay so right here where it says lidar key equals numpad seven highlight that seven and change that to a one okay these other two are fine down here is very very important okay po uh, position x right here on the display guys highlight that 1000 
and change that to a 612, okay? This is going to put your LiDAR gun perfectly where it needs to be. If you want to move it after that, you're more than welcome to, okay? And I'll show you how to do that in game. Below that, position Y equals 650. Highlight that 650 and change that to a 755. All right, and then your scale right below that. Um, erase the 60 and put in 71. Then your volume below that, erase the 3 and put in a 5. Okay, and then HUD color, we're going we're gonna to erase that 0 and put in a 1. All right, and then uh, I think that is pretty much it for that I think that's it so we can now click file click save and close out uh, one thing we did miss right here we need to go back up to call out interface configuration setting right here ladies and gentlemen open that up let me pull that over here all right and now we're going to start manipulating this file here so for the call out menu key f8 we're going to change that from an f8 we're going to change that from an f8 to an F10. The one below that is fine, okay? Right here where it says toggle terminal key numpad 6, highlight that 6 and change it to a 7. All right? Right here, hold interval. Change that from 250 to 300. All right? Sorry, guys. Let me just uh, mute my phone real quick. I forgot I had it on. I forgot I had the ringer on. All right? So from there, we're going to go down and... Uh, that's fine right there where it is. Uh, let's see. I think all this is fine. Now, right here, ladies and gentlemen, very, very important right here. Uh, your MDT call sign. This is going to be your call sign that dispatch is going to recognize you as, okay? So, mine being one Adam 7 and whatever name you put, just make sure it's in all caps, okay? Whoops, I spelled that wrong. And I'm going to put 7 here on the end. Now, your numbers, your first set of numbers can be 1 through 10. Your last set of numbers can be 1 through 24, okay? Your name can be anything from A to Z in the alphabet. So, Adam, Boyd, Charles, David, Edward, Frank, Henry, Ida, King, Lincoln, Mary, Nora, Ocean, X-Ray, Zebra, etc., etc. Uh, it can be any of those names. And if you need to figure out what those names are, I think Grammar Police has some documentation you can look at uh, for, those, for that specific reason. Now, once we got that done, uh, I just want to make sure I have everything else set correctly here. Um, so down here where it says MDT post uh, MTD position X, change that 1370 to a 1353, okay? And then below that, just erase that zero and put in an eight. And then the MDT scale, we're going to change that from an 85 to a 91, all right, below that is fine. And then this one's okay. And I'll show you how to do all this stuff in game, guys. Uh, right here, MDT sound display. Change that eight to a four. Okay, and then below that, change that four to a five. Okay, and then I think everything else is good as far as this part goes. Down here, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is also very important. Uh, because we are going to be using uh, this um, the postal codes from call out interface. I don't like the ones in simple HUD. I just don't like them. Um, so right here where it says postal code enable, change that false to a capital T R U E true. Make sure it's capital T. Okay. And then below that where it says postal code set equals OCRP, change that to this right here. Virus underscore city. Okay, virus underscore city. Change it to that, okay? Now, below that where it says postal code position X, 444, change that to a 495. The one below that, change it to a 907, okay? And then the postal code scale, change that to a 60, all right? And I think that's pretty much it right here. Now, these right here, we're going to change to kind of weird numbers, but they'll make sense when we, once we get into the game, okay? And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it just like this. Um, let me see here. Oh, no, that is something completely different. I'm sorry, guys. That's something completely different. Okay, so right here, guys, uh, where it says plate enabled, you want that set to capital T-R-U-E, true, okay? 
This one right here is fine. That's fine. Uh, this right here, play, uh, plate position X. Change that 380 to a 495. Oh, my mistake. 495, okay? The one below that, erase the 5 and just put a 7. And the one below that, erase that 75 and put a 60, okay? I think we got everything, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if that is right. Let me check the postal. Oh, one thing, guys. We did that wrong. Okay, so postal. Let's go back to postal here. Sorry, guys. Uh, I actually put the plate things in here uh, for that. So on postal code X under where it says postal, we're right here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So postal code position X. Change that 495 to a 318, okay? Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. And then the one below that, that 907, change that to a 1007, okay? And the one below that, change that 60 to a 47. Sorry about that, guys. I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm glad I looked. I'm glad I looked back. Um, I think that is pretty much it. Let's see. Um, down here where it says auto tab. So... You want all these set to true. So the easiest way to do this is highlight the ALPR and type in capital T-R-U-E. Then highlight that true right here. Hit left control C. Go below that. Highlight this false. Hit left control V. Highlight this one. Left control V. Highlight that one. Left control V. Okay. We want all those set to true. Okay. Okay. So I think that is, um, I think that's it right here, guys. Right here under where it says ALPR. Uh, right, right here where it says auto blip. You want that change to true. So capital T-R-U-E, okay? Um, and I think that is pretty much it for this. Let me make sure we got everything um blip enabled you also want that set to true ladies and gentlemen set that to true as well all right and i'm pretty sure that is it now i'm pretty sure that is um that is all we have to do let me double check my notes here to make sure we got everything set just the way it's supposed to be set let's see false true false i'm pretty sure that is it ladies and gentlemen i think that is it right there um Okay, right here, guys, we missed one thing at the very top where it says controls. Right here where it says toggle ALPR key, put a capital D right there, okay? A capital D. All righty, now that we got that, click file and click save and close that. I want to make sure these are saving too. Let me make sure they are actually saving the progress. Okay, so they are saving. Okay, now let's go back down to the very bottom of our, of our uh, LSPFR folder here. And open up the speed radar light configuration setting. All right. And let's open this up. Close that. And for the most part, this is set good by default. But there's just a couple of things we got to change. So like right here where it says key to increase threshold. And it says key uh, increase threshold page up. Change that from a page up to a capital I. Okay. And then the one down here that says decrease threshold key. Change that page down to a capital O. All right, and I think that is pretty much it. Um, we're going to do this right here, guys, where it says modifier key for threshold keys. Highlight this left shift, hit left control C, and go down here to threshold modifier key equals left control. Highlight that left control and hit left control V. All right, and then that should be um, down here. Down here where I'm at, guys, the initial speed threshold, you may increase or decrease it, okay? Highlight that 70 and change that to a 55. I'll explain it in game, okay? I promise you I will. All right? I think that is that is it for this. Uh, click File, click Save, close out. And let me double check, make sure we did not miss anything here before we go into the game. I think we got everything. Let's see. I think we got we got everything, guys. All right, so let's close out of our main game directory. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, make sure 
you clean out this recycle bin, okay? It's important because if you have too much in there, it'll slow down your PC. So go ahead and clean it out. There it is. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to restart our PCs, okay? That way, the game fires up a little easier, okay? When you restart it, it, it does that. So we're going to restart our PCs, and we're going to come back to desktop because there's a few. There's All one. Right, let's let's so there's one more thing I needed to show you before we actually go into the game. Uh, let's go to our file explorer, right click, and go to our main game directory. And in here, we want to go to our scripts folder, okay? And right here on our fast draw settings, we want to open that up. All right, and there's just one thing we need to change in here real quick. These are your hotkeys for your fast draw, uh, which is your one, two, three, and four on top of your keyboard. The menu key we do not need. Uh, there's nothing to really set in the menu, so highlight that F9, guys, and change that to a capital N-O-N-E. Uh, we do not need that. Uh, we need that F9 for our callout interface. Now, once you're done there, click File, click Save, and then Close Out. And now I will show you guys how to launch the game with those standalone plugins. All right, so being the fact we installed a standalone plugin, <clears throat> and what I mean for that by that, for those who don't know what that is, if you go to your main game directory and double-click on your plugins folder, anything in here, anything that you install into here is a standalone plugin. And anything you install into here, which means you will have to launch your LSPFR just like so, and I'm fixing to show you. Let's close out of this. Anytime you install a standalone plugin, you're going to launch your LSPFR like this. You're going to click on Rage Plugin Hook and immediately hold down the left shift key and hold it down until this window pops up, okay? Just like so. Now you're going to go to Plugins. You're going to go to Load These Plugins on Startup and click Check All. You should have all the plugins here that I have, okay? Which would be Quit of the Way V, the Damage Tracking Frame Network, LSP First Response, and the RPH Delete Vehicle, okay? Go back up and click on Load All Plugins on Startup and click Save and Launch. I'm going to take you guys to the game and show you how each one of these plugins work. I will see you all inside of LSPFR. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there's one more thing I need to tell you before we go into the game, okay? Open up. If you guys don't have your callout interface, uh, WinRAR, if you deleted it or whatever, go back to the description, click on it, and re-download it because we have to install something, okay? Um, let's open up our main game directory. And pretty much we're just going to reinstall this mod, okay? So here's what we're going to do. If you guys see these logs right here inside your main game directory, you can get rid of those. The only time you need those is if your game is crashing or something. Open up your callout interface, double-click on the GT5 folder inside the WinRAR, and we want to grab everything in here, all right? And we are going to deselect the RageCityViewi.dll, grab everything else, pull in your main game directory, drop it in, and we're going to replace the files, okay? And we will have to re-manipulate re this. But I wanted to show you guys something. Anytime you install something else that has um, this callout interface application extension or the iptcommon.dll, do not install them. Because if you overwrite these two, for some reason, when you overwrite these two uh, and your callout interface has already been installed, it will not your callout interface will not work. So I just wanted to bring that to y'all's attention. Uh, to make you aware of that. So here's what you want to do. Let's go back into our plugins folder. Let's go to LSPFR and let's open up our um, our callout interface uh, configuration setting right here, okay? Let's open this up. Let me look down through here real quick. And let me get my my sheet pulled up here on um, on this. Give me just one second, guys, and I will get it pulled up. Uh, let's see where it is here. All right, there it is. Now, let's re manipulate this file, okay? So right here, we're going to change this callout menu key. We're going to change that F8 to an F10. All right, the one below, that's fine. Right here, toggle terminal key, numpad 6. Change that numpad 6 to a numpad 7, okay? Uh, the toggle ALPR key, put a capital D right there. The hold interval, change that from 250 to 300 all right uh down here uh you're gonna have to you're gonna have to set your name again uh i do apologize guys but i wanted to make you guys aware of this i didn't want y'all to go in the game and, the, and call out interface wasn't working for you i wanted to make you aware of this okay um and then down here where it says mdt uh position x we're going to change that from a 1370 to a 1353 
All right, and then below that, we're gonna change that zero to an eight for 698. Below that, we're gonna change that 85 to a 91. I'm sorry I'm going so fast, guys. I'm trying to get through this for you so because we're doing having to do it a second time. Uh, this one's fine. The MDT sound display, change that eight to a four, and below that, change that four to a five, okay? Um, the MDT uh, timeout, let's see what that is set to. I think that one is, I think that one's good. I think that's that's okay. Um, below that are postal codes, guys. Again, make sure your postal code enabled is set the true with a capital T. And this OCRP, we're going to set that, again, remember, to virus underscore city. Okay, and then the one below that, position X postal code, change that 444 to a 318. And the one below that, change that 948 to a 1007. The one below that, change that 47, I mean that 42 to a 47, okay? And then down here, plate enabled, we want to set that to capital true. Make check, make sure that T is capital. Uh, the postal, the plate position X, make sure that's changed to a 495. And the 905, make sure that's changed to a 1007. And the 75, make sure that's changed. Um, nope, I am doing that wrong again. I'm doing that wrong once again, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, the plate position Y, make sure that's changed to a 907. The plate position scale, make sure that's changed to a 60. There we go. I don't know why I did that wrong twice. Um, and then again, make sure all these down here are set to true. And you can do it like this and then highlight your true. Hit left control C to copy it. And then just highlight all these. Hit left control V and set them all to true. I do apologize, guys, but I wanted to bring you guys back to make sure that you guys do that. Also, make sure your auto blip is set to true and your blip enabled right here is set to true. You definitely want those turned on. Let me make sure I got this right. I just want to bring you guys back because the callout interface wasn't working for me and I knew exactly why right off the bat. And I didn't want it to give you guys the same problem and you guys had all kinds of issues with your game right off the bat. Um, so I wanted to bring you back and make you guys, um, you know, aware of that. Uh, the MDT timeout right here, guys, under MDT, change that from a 10 to a 15. Okay, I did see that in my uh, backup sheet there. Uh, make sure that's changed. And I think that is pretty much it for that, guys. So click File, click Save, and close out. And let's go back to the main game directory. And now I'm going to take you guys back to the game and continue with that in game. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So to replace that MDT texture again so that you guys have that in your game, uh, open up your main game directory. Right-click on your file explorer. Open up your GT5 main directory. Oh, that's the wrong one. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> open that up and then open up your MDT textures for call-out interface. Guys, if you don't have that, click the link in the description below and re-download it. Um, once you open it, double-click on the MDT textures fo uh, folder. Double click on this GT5 folder here, and then just grab the plugins, guys, pull it into your main directory, drop it in, and replace the files. And then it will now be um, more colorful when you go back in the game. I do apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, but I wanted to show you that real quick. I do have to go live, uh, but you guys will never know the time because uh, that's the magic of editing. And we'll be getting back into uh, the second part of these plugins here. Uh, very, very All shortly. right, so if you ladies and gentlemen spawned into the game like this, and you most likely probably did, uh, maybe in the shower or just spawned uh, in uniform or whatnot. But if you did spawn in the game in the shower and you get out with no clothes on, don't worry about it because all you got to do is hit F4, type F-O-R-C-E, and then hit Tab and hit Enter, okay? And it's then going to put us right back on duty and it'll put a uniform on our officer. All right, so we're now going to... Now, if you're in your apartment, you can just head upstairs like this, depending on which apartment you select, and you can select it. And if I remember how... To do that, I will show you how to do it. Uh, we're going to go to the door here, and you're going to hit E on your keyboard or D-pad right to leave your apartment, just like so. Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, earlier when we set up our simple trainer, I showed you how to set up your weapons as well. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit F3 on the keyboard, and we're going to go to weapons, 
And we're going to go down to weapons load save menu. We're going to go up to load all weapons to slot one and click on that. All right. And now if you look in your weapon wheel, all of your weapons are now loaded up. Okay. Get out of my face, punk. Get out of my face, man. You don't want none. Get out of here. You don't want none. Everybody get going. Get out of here. Now, see that right there, guys, where it says shots fire panic activated? When you have deadly weapons, anytime you fire your weapon, police officers are auto gonna, automatically going to come to your rescue, okay? Hey, now, to spawn the police car that we made EOS compatible, we are going to go into our simple trainer, hit F3, go up to vehicle spawning, go down to emergency, and then go to where it says police cruiser, click on it. You now have your ELS vehicle. Now we are going to go over to ELS. We're going to go over ELS first, okay? So let's go. Let's go back down the airport where it's a little more peaceful and quiet. So we're going to waypoint there, hit delete, and we're going to spawn down here. And if that, I swear, if that plane comes in, I'm going to fire my gun at it and make it leave again. So here's what we're going to do. So going over ELS, okay? Now let's hit, let's start this by hitting right control P, P is in pause. It's gonna pause your game. You're gonna hit backspace. And you will now notice that you have a box over there. That stupid plane. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. You will now notice when you get in your car, you now have a ELS box there, right? If that BKT is on, just hit A and your lights will come on, your, your headlights and taillights. Now, four keyboard users to turn on your lights you're going to hit j once j again and j for the third time that's stage one two and three lighting okay this is stage three lights now if you'll notice stage one and stage two does not have any lights but we're going to change that here in just a second okay now for keyboard users to turn your lights it's going to be left on your d-pad so one two three on the d-pad left okay that's how you do it now, for keyboard users to operate your sirens, you are going to use the numbers one through six on top of your keyboard, okay? This is one, two, three, four, five, and then one. Now, the reason I didn't mention six is because six is a dual siren. If you hit one and hit six, that is dual sirens. You can then cycle from two to five like this, and that main siren will keep going. Five will alternate through all your sirens. See, it just kind of alternates. So we're going to turn those off. All right. Now for controller users to turn your sirens on, you're going to push down on your D-pad. To change the siren, you're going to hit B on your controller. Okay, down the D-pad to turn it off. Now for control users to activate dual sirens, you're gonna hit down the D-pad and up on the D-pad. And you can then hit your B to cycle through. All right, push down on your D-pad. Now, for keyboard users to do your manual sirens, okay? This is with your lights on or off. It'll work either way, okay? You're gonna hit R on the keyboard. That's your manual siren. If you hit the E on your keyboard, that's your police horn. Also, Y is your police horn and T is your manual. So R is your manual, T is your manual, Y and E are your horn. Now if you hit the R and tap the E, you'll get this sound. All right, for controller users, if you want to use the manual siren, it is B on your, on your controller. You want to use your horn, you are going to click on your left thumbstick. Now, if you hit the B and click your left thumbstick, you're going to get this sound. All right. Now, let's turn our lights off. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the left alt key. If that plane's coming, I swear. We're going to hold down the left alt key and start hitting the numbers one through five on top of the keyboard just like so until you get all the way to 30 it will not go no higher than 30 it won't go no higher than five on the keyboard okay 
So we're going to keep doing this all the way through five till those numbers get to 30. I'm on three right now. All right, this is number four. And that's number five. Now I'm going to show you the difference. These are to turn your Coronas on, okay? Make your Coronas pop real good. All right, you can try six, but I promise you it won't work. Now, if we try stage one lighting, there's still nothing, right? But if we go to stage two, we now have lights, okay? That plane's going down. Adam four, copy. Get out of here, punk. All right, and that is stage two right there, okay? And then stage three. All right, let's get out of here. That is your ELS. Now, if you want to turn that ELS box off and you don't want it on, hit right control uh, P again, and then backspace, and that will turn it off, all right? So now, let's check out our skin control, which means our tattoos for our character. If we get out of the car and hit the tab key, it's going to pull up this menu. Go over to pick skin. Go down to free mode mail. Click on that. Don't ever click on base face, face shape, face detail. It will mess up your character. You're gonna have to reload the game and come back in to get your character back, okay? We wanna go down to tattoos. You can put tattoos on your torso by going like this with your arrows, your D-pad. Um, I usually just go down the left arm and I'll put two layers of tattoo on each arm like this so they show up real good. And I'm doing this with my arrows or my D-pad. All right, and as you guys can see, my guy has tattoos on him. Now you can try to save this if you want to over there by save, but every time I try it, it doesn't work real good for me. Um, I would just do it every time you come into the game, and then you're gonna go back up, you're gonna exit out, and that is skin control for you, all right? Now, let's try out our speed radar light. Best place to test that out is the interstate, okay? So we're gonna go up here towards uh, Sandy Shores and sit here in one of my favorite spots to radar. All right, so we're gonna go up here. Now I'm gonna sit right, I'm gonna sit right here. All right, and we are gonna hit left control I. That's gonna turn it on. As you guys can see when they speed, red blips pop up on the map right there, okay? All right, now if we wanna change the speed, we're gonna hold down left shift. We're gonna hold down left shift. And we're gonna hit the O to decrease the speed. You can see it right there where the T is. And then I to decrease the speed as you're holding the left shift key, okay? So if you want the speed to go up, and you hit I, uh, left shift I. If you want the speed to go down, you hold left shift O. That brings it down. Now, if you want to change your radar, you're gonna hold, I think it's this right here. Nope, you are going to hold Okay, so it's left control and then the home key. That changes from front radar, where the M is, right there on the radar, to rear radar, left control home key, to left radar, to all radars, okay? That's how you change your radars, all right? Now, when you get a speeder, let me change the speed here. I'll take it down a little bit. When you get a speeder, it will pop up as a red blip on the map. It will show them on the map right there, C58. There they go. And they stay up for about six seconds, okay? Now, if you want to deactivate it, deactivate your radar, you are going to hit left control I. All right, and then left control I to turn it back on. Now, the speed threshold I was talking about in the I-9 file is right there where the T is, guys. When you, when you turn your speed radar on every time you come to the game, it will automatically be set at 55 miles an hour. You can go back and change that I-9 file if you want to. It's completely up to you. Let's deactivate that, okay? That's how your speed radar works, okay? Now, uh, let's see. Automatic siren cutout is, fit, is pretty much self-explanatory. If you're running code three and you get out of your car, it automatically turns the sirens out, just turns them off just like that, okay? Better ELS reflections. Let's get a little bit darker for that. All right, so we hop out of our car. You're gonna really see them reflections popping back there uh, down the interstate and as uh, you know, this way as well. That's better ELS reflections and also your um, also your custom environmental lighting. All right, All right. guys, so call out interface. We are gonna go, um, we're gonna go to the airport here in Sandy, uh, where it's a little bit more quiet. There we go, that's better. A lot more peaceful. So call out interface, guys and girls. We're gonna hit the F10 on our keyboard, and this right here, any call outs that you install into your game 
um, is going to be right here in this call-out interface. Now, if you'll notice down there by the mini-map, uh, you will see a postal code now. Uh, that is through call-out interface. This shows your postal codes if you're into 5 or anything like that, or just for the realism of the play, uh, your nearest postal code is right there for you, okay? And we'll have more stuff down there by the mini-map as we go further along in this plugins install. I install stuff like Grammar Police. We'll have, like, our plate down there. Um, you know, all that other good stuff. Now, open up your call-out interface. Go down to configure settings. And we're going to go down to MDT, okay? Now, this is your MDT settings right here. This is the toggle it on and off, of course, right here, which will only come on when you're in the vehicle. Um, this is your, uh, if you only want it to come on in the vehicle, you set that to true. Um, auto display on call out, which means if you got this on true, it'll come up when a call out takes place. Uh, this is your MDT call out. So how long the, TV, the, the MDT stays visible uh, once a call out is up. So we're going to set this to like 10 seconds. Um, this is your MDT volume. So you got like five different levels. I keep mine on about two because five seems to be a little loud for me. So we'll keep it on two. Uh, this is the sound on acceptance when you accept a call. So one. And those are not working. I don't know why the sounds are not working. Yeah, they're not working at all. Okay, so the sounds are not working. That's rather weird. All right, let's try it like this. Let's go here. Police radio, turn our calls on and request a call. Attention all units. We've got a possible one. Oh, because we're not in our car. That's why, um, guys. Route As you guys can see right there, there's the call out interface right there for the MDT. And if we accept it, it makes that sound right there. Sorry, guys, I wasn't in the video. That's why. Let me disable that pursuit. All right. So if we hit the F10 on the keyboard, go to configure right, go to configure settings, go to MDT. Um, there's your sounds. Okay, now there's the sounds. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Attention all, all right, so that's the sounds you get for each sound and uh, when you get a call. Gunshots reported. All units respond. Code 99. Let me turn the calls off again, guys. They're going to get annoying. All right. Pull that back up. F10. Configure settings. MDT. All right. So those are your sounds. Whichever one you want. I, I use two. Now, this is the sounds for uh, when you get a call, right? Your sound on display. So um, one, same sounds as the other one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I normally use one for that. And then this is your ALPR sound hit. Same sounds. So you guys can see. I use four for mine. Um, that's uh, when set will display a message showing the distance of the call. So you always want that set to true. Uh, MDT toggle on. Uh, I would just leave that at false because you can, you can use your seven on your numpad. And turn it on and off just like that. Seven on your numpad. Just make sure your numlock is on or it won't work, okay? So seven on the numpad pulls that up. Um, let's see what else. So call out interface, that's pretty much it for well, let's pull it back up, go to configure settings, and then go down to postal. This is your postal code. So if you post if you set that to false, it turns your postal code off, right? This down here is your different types of postal codes. Uh, I keep mine on virus city. This right here will move your postal code around. See that? Takes it down. Um, that right there takes it down. This brings it in. That's the scale of it. Um, that right there takes it out of the side or brings it back. So uh, that's what that does. And then down, if we go back and go down a plate, uh, this is your plate enabled. Now this, I think this is only, there's your plate right there. Uh, that will bring up the plate in front of you. Now that'll happen once we get stuff like grammar police. You'll start seeing the play on there. You'll, you'll see it anyway, but Grammar Police will make it way more realistic, okay? So you want these both set to true. Let's go back and go to ALPR. Um, this right here, you don't really need to mess with none of this, guys. Just make sure your auto blip and blip enabled are both set to true. Um, and then your auto tab right here, those are already set to true. We set those to true. And then anytime you make changes, click save, and it saves it. And that's it for a call now out. We're going to do uh, Clear the Way V. Okay, so the best place to test this, again, is on the interstate. So we're going to go right here. 
We're gonna spawn out to here. And if you're running code two or code three, uh, the traffic will clear out of your way a little bit easier. Not not perfect, but it does go out of your way a little easier. So we're gonna run we're gonna run code two here. Now the trucks will not move. The trucks won't move, but the vehicles will. So there goes the vehicle. Let's see how that one got over. But your bigger trucks, they will not move for you. They just won't. But they will get over motorcycles, smaller vehicles. Uh, but trucks like that, they will not. They will not move over. So that's clear the way V for you right there, guys. It just kind of makes them smaller cars get over out of the way. All right, so that's clear the way V. All right, Compulite, we need to make a traffic stop for this. So we're gonna pull this guy over up here. Uh, again, when you pull up behind the suspect, hit left shift on the keyboard. It's gonna pull him up as a red blip, and then you're going to, now since you have ELS installed, it will be J on the keyboard or left the D-pad three times to light him up. Make sure you are a certain amount of distance so it, they can initiate the, you know, acknowledge that you're behind them. That way it initiates the traffic stop. So Compulite, we're gonna go over Compulite now, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so once you pull up to him, you're gonna hold X on the keyboard. And the first thing you always wanna do when you pull over a suspect is go to vehicle records, click enter, and then go down to the, the vehicle, click enter again. This will tell you if the registration is valid, insurance, uh, if the vehicle stolen, and you always want to click on vehicle owner. This tells us who's driving the vehicle. I mean, this tells us the vehicle owner, and this normally tells us who's driving the vehicle or sometimes just occupied twice. Uh, it tells us that he's got an arrest warrant for resisting with violence. Uh, he's been arrested for these charges here, and he's had citations for these, uh, these uh, charges here. So, and then the other guy, Shows you pretty much the same thing. He's on probation. Uh, no outstanding warrants, no pro, uh, no gun permit or nothing like that, but he is, I'm sorry, he's on parole, not probation. So, normally what I would do in a situation like this is I would do it felony stop style, but we do not have stopped the pedal from backup installed yet, so we have to wait on that. So here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna get him out of gunpoint. Now to do that, you're gonna point your gun at the suspect and you gotta be a certain distance. Make sure you're pretty close. You're gonna hold E on the keyboard or around the D-pad. You're gonna see that takedown mode. And desist, They're gonna get out. And he's gonna get face down the ground. You're gonna walk up to him like this. You're gonna hold E on the keyboard around the D-pad to arrest him. That will then pick him up. Once we get stopped the pen stall, it'll be easier to arrest people. Same thing with this guy right here, okay? Or you can just walk over like this, and you can hold E on the right, on the D-pad. I'm sorry. Get your gun out. Point the suspect. Hey, punk! Stop it! Hold E on the keyboard around the D-pad. Stop moving around, dude. Again, he's gonna get on the ground. You're gonna walk up beside him. Hold E on the keyboard around the D-pad to cuff him. Now, if you want to cover, uh, transport with these guys vanilla style, you're going to have to walk up behind them and tap Q on the keyboard or left the D-pad to make them get down. You'll hit the B on the keyboard. You're going to go up to where it says response and go over to transport and click on local transport unit. We've got an officer required. Same thing with this guy. In Santiago, if you want to search him vanilla style, you'll walk up behind him and hold Q on the keyboard or left the D-pad just like so. Make sure you're holding it down so he'll search him. We'll make him get down as well. We have we'll the transport again. Let me show you guys the charges and citations here. Cause I, I forgot to show you that. So let's uh, pull somebody else over. I really want to get one of them new patrol cars. I don't know how to spawn it though. guy ever gonna pull over all right so once you're behind him 
Again, hold X on the keyboard. Go over to vehicle records. Click on view vehicle owner. And then let's say we want to create her an arrest report. We're going to go to arrest report. These are the charges, okay? Your arrest report is your charges, which if you replace them, then yours will be different than mine. If not, they'll be the exact same. If we go back. Oh, let me do it again. And let's say we want to do a uh, citation, okay? These are the ones that will be changed as well. These are all your citations right here. See that? Those are all your different citations. You've got a lot of stuff in here to go through, guys, to memorize. Um, so there's your alcohol right there, your public arrestable, miscellaneous pets, speeding. Uh, it's, it's all here, guys and girls. There's that. Um, let me go ahead and let them go. All right, now, uh, custom pullover. We should have used it with them. Custom pullover is a, is a pretty nifty tool, to say the least. Pull that car over, man. All right, custom pullover, guys. We're going to start by hitting left shift. I'm sorry, left control W. It's going to bring this up right here. You're going to use your numpad to navigate this. Eight goes up. Two brings it back. Four goes left. Six goes right. Five resets it, okay? Nine will make it go up higher. Three will bring it back down, okay? All right, so we're going to use eight and six to take it up to the right. And then once we got it, we're going to, we're going to hit enter. And he's then going to pull over in that spot, hopefully. All right. Now, also, you can use left control R in which they will mimic you. All right, so no matter how far I pull up, they'll, they'll kind of keep going with me here. And when you're done, you hit left control R again. Now, if you want them to follow you, you're going to pull in front of them, just like so. And you're going to back up to them rather close. And you're going to hit left control T. All right, and they will then turn into a blue blip, blip on the map, and they will follow you, or a cyan blip. If you look behind you, you can see they're following you there. Whenever you get them where you want them, you hit left control T again. I knew they were going to hit me. I knew it. And that's pretty much it for that. I'm going to cancel this traffic stop. That's it for uh, custom pullover, guys. Um, deadly weapons, we talked about that. Um, when you sh when you shoot your gun, help will automatically come to you. To you. Uh, backup will automatically be there. Also, it makes your body more immune to dying. Uh, so when you get into a gunfight, uh, you can die way more easy. And I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, let's make sure we armor up for this next part. So go to options and then go up to max health, max armor, and right there. All right. Now we're going to go to Grove Street. This is the perfect place for this. All right. Let's head down to Grove Street. And I'm going to show you guys how deadly weapons really work. And if I die, it's just part of it. I want to show you guys how it works anyway. All right. So Grove Street is right here. Let's go down to Grove Street. All right. Now, you know, all you got to do on Grove Street is, is shoot a couple of shots and they're going to come out blasting everywhere at you. All right. So we got shots fired. All right. Let's go ahead and get some backup in here. That's deadly weapons right there, guys. That's exactly how tedious that mod is and how quick you can die. That's how it works. I don't need to show you anything else. Enough explained. Just make sure when you go to, to get in a gunfight, you are in cover at all times and only come out to shoot that gun when you have a clear shot and they are not shooting you, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind, guys. That's how deadly weapons works right there. Um, all right, what else we got? Fast draw. Get out of my face. So fast draw is pretty much when you get out of your car, uh, you select the weapon with your X uh, on your controller, or you can do it with your um, numbers on the top of your keyboard. And when you get out, you will automatically have your gun drawn just like that. That's fast draw. Instead of having to get out and fight with your weapon wheel. Um, and then what else we got here? Delete vehicle. So delete vehicle. Let's go ahead and stop traffic here real quick. And if we walk up to a vehicle right here, Get out of my traffic scene. Walk up and hit left shift D. D is in David, left shift D. That will delete the vehicle. Just like so. 
Now, the only thing you can't delete is emergency vehicles, okay? That's how you do it. Left shift D. Alright. And then... Uh, the clipboard. We can do left control Y. That's for our notepad. And left control T for our clipboard. If you want to drop... If you want to do like... If you got the clipboard in your hand... Alright. You do left control T to drop it, okay? And then left control Y is for your notepad. And then left control Y drops it, all right? That's how that works. I'm going to take care of this lady right here. What'd you say to me? You want to fight? Is that what you want to do? I don't think you do, bro. All right. And then one more thing, guys. The LiDAR gun. So let's go back down to the interstate here. Uh, LiDAR gun. Let's go to the interstate. All right, so the LiDAR gun. Very useful tool right here. And we're going to park right here. Now, to equip the LiDAR gun, you are going to hit the one on your numpad, and that will equip it just like this. All right, if you're using a controller, you're going to use your left, th your left thumb stick to zoom in by pushing up on it and right trigger to clock everybody. You see they pop up as a yellow blip on your map right there. See that? You can zoom in pretty far. All right. That's how that works right there. Your LiDAR gun. So you're going to pull left trigger on your controller to pull it up. Up on your thumbstick to zoom in. Back on your thumbstick to zoom out. Right trigger to clock them. Just like that. If you're using mouse, you're going to hold right click on the mouse. You're going to use the W to zoom in. And then left click to clock them. All right, S to zoom out, W to zoom in, left click to clock them, and right click to pull up your your gun. All right, that's how the LiDAR gun works, okay? That's how it works. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this in-game showcase, guys. We're going to go back to the desktop, install the last set of plugins, uh, manipulate those files, come back to the game and show you how they work, and I think that will be it for the tour of 2024. Um, Oh, awesome. One more thing, guys. I heard that sound. Pull up your MDT, guys, by hitting the 7 on your numpad. And if you um, hold the 7 on your numpad, you will see a white arrow pop up right here. See my white arrow? And you can go over here, and you can deactivate your ALPR just like that. See that? Or activate it with this arrow right here. You can also go over here and click your self available, or in route, or on scene, or busy or ID check, or plate. Uh, you can click on these um, and just kind of mess around with it, guys, and see what you get. There's your settings right there. Let me get out of that. But hold seven on the numpad. That will bring up that arrow. And if you want to drop your ALPR, just click that ALPR right there, or the D on your keyboard. That's also your hotkey to turn it on and off. And then you can just click that to close it, and that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back to desktop and install these last set of plugins. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there's one more thing I want to show you with the uh, LiDAR gun uh, I forgot to show you. Uh, if you hold down, if you go to your numpad, make sure your num lock is on or this won't work. If you hold down the one on your numpad, the menu for the LiDAR gun will pop up. Now, if we go to the very top of this menu, uh, your hold interval, that doesn't really, you don't really need to mess with that. But this right here, your position X and your position Y and your scales are the three main things we need to look at. So your position X, if you use your arrows on your keyboard, that moves it from side to side, as you can see. Uh, the position Y moves it down and up, just like so. Uh, the scale, of course, makes it bigger or smaller. Uh, this is the sound of it when you clock people, the, or the volume, I mean. Uh, this is your metric system. If you want to use metric, that will put it on metric. Uh, your HUD color is very important. If you leave it on one, and you pull up your light and you pull up your lidar gun all right and if you zoom in you see how my hud right there is red now if we go back into the menu hold down the one on your numpad and change that to zero and then pull up our radar gun and go like this it then turns green okay so that's what that is uh, your hud guard goes from green to red it's completely up to you how you want to do it um i leave mine on one which is red and then enable blip, that enables the blip on the map when you clock them. Um, 
enable screen. This allows a circle to be around the gun. So when you pull your gun up and zoom in, it puts a circle type like this right here. There's some new cop cards that are so awesome. All right. But I like to leave mine on false just because just because I like that's the square look of it. Um, and then auto zoom, um, that automatically activates the zoom when you're in first person. So if we go to first person, I think, yeah, it puts the zoom in automatically right there like this. So if you, if you don't have that activated, uh, let me pull the menu back up and then you go into this right here. It just pulls the gun up instead of going into zoom mode. So just a little food for thought. Um, and I'm going to set that back to true. And then, uh, right here, guys, edit mode is very important. If you click on this, you can take your mouse right here and you see that little green circle. If you hold down your left click, you can move this around wherever you want to see that. And then you just put it where you want and let go of your left click. And then you hit backspace. And then when you pull it up, let's get out of first person. You pull it up. It'll be wherever you uh, put it at. I need to, I need to move that over just a little bit. Um, but you can you can move that literally wherever uh, your heart desires. I like to keep it a little bit over this way so that it's not in the way of my postal code and my grammar police and stuff, which we will be installing grammar police. So I'm gonna leave it about right there. And then when I pull it up, see it's kind of over out of the way. Uh, that's pretty much it. Any changes you make, guys, in your menu, make sure you go down and click on save, and that will save it to the INI file. All right, guys. So we're gonna go back to the desktop, and I'm gonna show you how to install the rest of these plugins. We'll manipulate the files to the end game showcase, and then we will be done with this tutorial. So guys, there was one more thing I wanted to show you with the LiDAR gun. When you're sitting inside your car, if you hold down on the period on the keyboard, just hold it down for a second, you notice that your window comes down right there, right? And if you tap the period, it puts your window back up. Now, if you hold it the period down, the window comes down, and if you pull your radar gun up, and for control users, you're gonna hold down on your left bumper, and right bumper will clock them. You can also zoom in from the inside of the car, just like so. And keyboard users, it's the same controls as, as when you're standing. You right click on the mouse and then left click to clock them. And then of course to zoom in is the W. Oh, nope, it will not zoom in while you are in the car. I'd imagine the car has to be off for that. So, but once we install, turn off that engine, we might be able to do it then. Um, but let's go back to desktop guys and uh, we're gonna do the second part of this plugins install All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's get back into the part two of plugins of this install tour I apologize for the confusion earlier on the call out interface um, But I wanted to bring you guys back to show you um, to reinstall the, the textures and reinstall color interface so that everything was correct All right, so let's get into this guys click the link in the description below uh, This is gonna be our second set of plugins before first gonna be install uh, downloading uh, immersive effects. This is by Faya. Uh, Faya, I think it's how you say it. Faya, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. Uh, this is by Faya Immersive Effects. This is a really cool plugin to have for your game, and I'll show you how all this works in the game. We are going to click download the file here, agree and download. And as always, guys, you want the main file right there, the 117. Click download here. And then go on to the next one is going to be turn off that engine by Super Power Maniac. He does a lot of good work. I believe this is the same guy that makes super callouts. Um, but he does a lot of good work been around the community for a long time turn off that engine a very cool plugin to have as well Click download the file here agree and download. It's gonna start downloading Move on the next one's gonna be riskier traffic stop. This is by Astro burgers This is a really cool plugin to have and makes your chances of traffic stops uh, More dangerous and stuff like that, but again, I'll explain it in the game click download the file here Agree and download and you want the main file here the 2691 click download here Moving on to the next one is going to be Spotlight. Uh, this is something that I've used for a very long time. Love this mod. This is done by Alex Guire. Click download the file here. Agree and download. And moving on to the next one is going to be Keep the Door Open by Corio. Download here. Agree and download. That's going to start downloading. Next up is Ambient Effects. This makes your fire and your smoke and explosions way more realistic. This is done by Delipitated. Uh, you want to click download here, guys and girls. And then next up is open all interiors. Now, the reason I'm having you install this is because, for one, it's a really cool script to have. And number two, when you start installing callouts in your game, uh, you're going to need this for a majority of your callouts because a majority of the callouts they make now require open all interiors. So click download here. Moving on, the next one's going to be Restrain the Deceased. This is also by Faya. Go ahead and click download the file. 
agree and download and again you want the main file 131 click download here next up is going to be bait car and this is a really cool mod uh, for just whatever you want to do with it but it's a bait car mod it's really cool and I'll show you how all this works in game download the file here agree and download and again you want the main file right there the 4132 download right here next up is going to be in-game screenshot now you can install this if you want you don't have to but this is a really cool script to have if you want to get good screenshots uh, without the HUD in the way and you know like uh, for good thumbnails or just good screenshots to share in the discord or whatever uh, this is a cool mod to have uh, so click download here and then next up is going to be our dash cam V uh, this is done by peer good download the file here agree and download moving on to the next one is going to be grammar police is a very important uh, mod that we have here a very important plugin and I'm going to show you how to make your mic work properly with this okay uh, there's a few steps we'll go through before we install this mod so I can show you how to get your mic working properly download the file here agree and download this is done by opus 49 you want the main file the 172 click download here next up is going to be heli assistance a really cool plugin to have this is done by OG does it click download the file here agree and download you want the main file the 242 click download right here Moving on, the next one is going to be Simple HUD. Now, this replaces player location display. This is why we're not doing player location display, because Simple HUD um, replaces that. You want to download the file here. Agree and download. And you want the uh, one that says Simple HUD.zip. Okay, you want that one. So download it here. Moving on, the next one is going to be Radio Realism Alpha. This is by Buddha Rocks. Uh, download the file here. This makes your radio sounds more realistic. Go ahead and download it. Next one is going to be Radio Realism um, First Response. This is done by Officer Porky, and this makes your radio sounds more realistic as well. So with the two mods on top of it, uh, the other Radio Realism and this one together makes them way more realistic. So click download the file here, agree and download. Next up is going to be Sticky Wheels. We want to download the file. This is done by Corio as well. Download the file here, agree and download. Next up, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Stop the ped, Bobby Joe John. This is that site again, guys. It's kind of janky. But here's what you got to do. You're going to scroll down. And when you click this arrow to download it, if a window pops up, like I said, just keep closing it and clicking that arrow until it, and then you can click that X right there, and just keep clicking it until it, eventually it will download. Once you keep doing this, it'll eventually download. There it goes right there. It downloaded. See that? I'm going to get rid of mine. All right, moving on to the next one is going to be Search Items Reborn. This is for Stop the Ped. This makes our search items for our pedestrians and our vehicles way more realistic, okay? This is done by Officer 034. Uh, click download the file here, and it should start downloading. Last up is Ultimate Backup, guys. Back to this Bajojo website, which is kind of janky. Again, scroll down, click the arrow, close out of the window. It might take a few times like we have before. It just, I don't know why his website is like, I really wish he changed this. And the thing is, it changes if you purchase the Patreon, which I think is absolutely ridiculous that you have to purchase the Patreon to get the ads to go away. It's stupid. Um, it's really just foolish. Anyway, let's close out of that. And now that we got everything downloaded, let's close out of this. And let's pull up our main game directories. And then um, let me get my note pulled up over here on one thing that I'm definitely going to need which is going to be our simple HUD I'm definitely going to need notes for that because there's a lot of stuff in there that we have to um, that we have to type in uh, to make our simple HUD uh, look just right and there it is right there and there's one more thing that I'm going to need as well and that's going to be um, for the uh, spotlight. Uh, open up your main game directory. And again, if you have these logs folder right here and uh, your game's not crashing, you can get rid of these. All right. Now let's open up our immersive effects WinRAR. You want to double click on the files folder. You want to grab only the plugins. You don't need none of this. Just the plugins folder. Pull it into your main game directory and drop it in. Okay. Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut. Open up your turn off that engine WinRAR, guys. Double click on the folder inside that, grab the plugins folder only, pull it in your main game directory, and drop it in. All right. Everything literally goes either into our main game directory or our scripts folder, guys and girls. Just keep that in mind. All right. Risk your traffic stop, guys. Open that up. 
Grab the plugins folder only, pull it in your main game directory, and drop it in. All right, get rid of that. Delete the shortcut. Open up your spotlight mod. Now, in here, we need to go to our main game directory and we need to double click on our plugins folder, okay? So you should be in GTA 5 plugins. That's where you should be at in your pathway. Inside the WinRAR, you are going to grab the spotlight resources folder and hold down your control key and highlight the spotlight.dll. You're going to grab both of these, pull it into your plugins folder, and drop it in, okay? Go back to your main game directory. Close out of this. Get rid of that shortcut. Now, the last part of your pathway should say GTA 5, okay? That's where you should be at. All right, open up your uh, Keep the Door Open WinRAR. Double click on the Grant the Throttle 5 folder inside the WinRAR. Grab the Plugins folder from the WinRAR. Pull it into your main game directory and drop it in. All right, and then get rid of that. Open up your Ambient Effects WinRAR, and inside your main directory, you want to double click on your Scripts folder, okay? Then grab the AmbientEffects.dll, pull it into your Scripts folder, and drop it in. Then go back, go up here in your main game directory and hit that arrow back. You should be in your main game directory where the last part of your pathway should say Grand Theft Auto V. All right, I know I really stress these pathways, guys, and I have to because there's folks out there who will say you didn't show me the correct pathway, and I want to make sure I'm showing you the correct pathway every single time so you're not dropping stuff in the wrong areas of your game, okay? Now, next up, we are going to open up our Open All Interiors. Highlight everything in here. Deselect the readme.txt. Grab the both open interior uh, files, pull them in your main game directory, and drop them in, all right? Make sure you refresh your directory every time you do this, guys, so it goes back to the top, and get rid of that shortcut. Open up your Restrain the Deceased, guys. Double-click on the files, grab the plugins folder only, pull it into your main game directory, and drop it in, okay? Get rid of that. Open up your bait car uh, WinRAR. Double-click on the Grand Theft Auto V folder inside the WinRAR. Grab the plugins folder only, pull it in your main game directory, drop it in. Okay, and then get rid of that shortcut. I know this is a lot of plugins, guys, to install at once, but trust me, once we restart our PCs, everything will be fine. Let's open up our in game screenshot WinRAR. Now, in your main game directory, for these two files, you need to open up your scripts folder. So double click on your scripts folder, grab these two files from the WinRAR, pull them into your scripts folder, and drop them in, okay? Then go back to your main game directory in which the last part of your pathway should say GTA 5. All right, make sure you get rid of that shortcut. Open up your dash cam V. And we are going to click on the lore friendly right here. We want that. That's what we want, okay? Now let's go to our main game directory, directory and double click on the plugins folder and grab the dash cam V.dll and the dash cam V.ini. Pull this into your plugins folder. And drop it in, okay? Just like so. Then go back to your main game directory. Get rid of that. Get rid of the shortcut. All right, let me do some arranging here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me pull all this stuff down because it gets on my nerves if it's not in order. I'm sorry, it's my OCD. Let me get all this in order. All right, now, open up your Grammar Police uh, WinRAR. Now, there's two files in here we're going to need, okay? We'll come back to the textures, but just for now, open up the Grand Theft Auto V folder in the WinRAR. And you, now remember, do not replace the callout interface application or the IPT common. If you do, your callout interface will not work, okay? So don't replace those. Just grab the LSPFR folder and the plugins folder, pull both of those into your main game directory, and drop them in, okay? There you go. And then we want to go back in the Grammar Police WinRAR, open up our textures, okay? Then we want to minimize our directory. Open up your OpenIV, go to Windows for Grand Theft Auto V, and these are two files that we're going to place. All right, we're going to open up this readme right here in our WinRAR, okay? Let me pull that over here. That's mighty narrow. All right, so this is the pathway that we want to follow right here, ladies and gentlemen, to put those files in. So over in our uh, Open IV, make sure your edit mode is turned on. You want to go to Mods. It says Mods. Then what's next? Time 64C. Now, if you do not have that over here, which we don't, okay, go into the side column right here where my cursor is and click on that Time 64C.RPF and then click Copy to Mods folder, okay? This only takes just a few, just a second. 
Anytime you don't have anything over here that you're looking for in a pathway, always look for it, your side column, click on it, and then you can copy it over, okay? What does it say to go to next? Levels. Let's go to levels, double click on levels, and then GTE 5. And then we want props. So double click on the props folder. And then we want the LEV underscore DES, which is right here. Double click on that. And then we want the V underscore minigame.rpf, which is right here. All right. Now we can close that README, okay? Now we want to find these files. So highlight that file, click it once, click it again where it's highlighted, right click and click copy. Go into the search tab of your open IV and click left control V. Right here's your files. Highlight everything in that WinRAR. Deselect the README. You don't need it. Grab these two files, pull them into your open IV, and drop them in. This is for the CB radio in LSPDFR, okay? Now that you've got that, make sure you go back in the search tab of your open IV, highlight that, and clear it out, okay? Then go to File and Open IV and click Close All Archives and close out of your open IV. We can now close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. Now, before I forget, I'm going to show you guys how to make your grammar police work real quick, okay? So here's what you want to do. You want to go into the settings of your PC. So just type in settings, if I can type mine right. Go into your settings, okay? And then go up here and just type in sound and go to your sound settings. Very important you guys follow this step. This is very important to make your grammar police work, okay? One way you can make your grammar police work is to go through your uh, voice recognition setting, uh, system on your computer, okay? Go through your voice recognition, set it all up. That helps with your grammar police, okay? Number two, the output is what you are listening through, which would be your headphones or whatever it is. The input is what is important, okay? The input. So where I am talking through the, the Focusrite USB audio, that's what I'm going to select my grammar police, even though it'll work through my voice mod because I've got voice mod, uh, my mic ran through my voice mod. I'm going to select it here because this is the mic I am using to talk to grammar police with. So whatever mic you are talking through and it shows up here on your input, select that. Make sure you select that specific mic so that the grammar police understands you because if you don't select it and you go into game, your grammar police is not going to understand one word you're saying, okay? So select the mic you're using, then go back and close out. Okay, I have a payment due for Microsoft 365. Uh, open up your main game directory again, and let's open up our Heli Assistance WinRAR. And in your main game directory, guys, go to your plugins folder, go to LSPFR, and you want to highlight everything in this WinRAR. Deselect the README. Grab the three Heli Assistant files, pull them into your main directory. You should be in Grand Theft Auto 5 Plugins LSPDFR. That's where you should be at. Pull these into there, drop them, and you're good to go. Let's go back to the main game directory. And you should be in Common, Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Close out of this. Get rid of that shortcut, all right? Open up your Simple HUD WinRAR. And we want to open up our scripts folder in our main game directory. Open that up and open up the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder inside the WinRAR and open up the scripts folder and grab everything in here and pull it to your scripts folder just like this and drop it in, okay? This is why we needed the Lemon UI to make our Simple HUD work, okay? Now, go back in your Simple HUD WinRAR, go back and go back again and open up that textures right there, okay? Now, let's go back to our main game directory and minimize our main directory Let's go back one more time in the um, in the simple HUD, and let's go to this documentation and go to the README. Okay, this is going to tell us the pathway that we need in OpenIV. All right, so if we scroll down, should be right here. This is it right here. So open up your OpenIV, ladies and gentlemen. You want Windows for Grand Theft Auto Five, and we're going to install into this pathway right here okay that's the pathway we want so again make sure your edit mode is turned on you want to navigate to mods update update.rpf time 64 what's it say next we want to go to textures so find your textures which is right here double click that and then you want the script underscore txds.rpf okay and that is the one right here open that up and then we can now close out of this README. All right. 
Let's go back in our WinRAR, go back to the textures, and this is what we're going to drop right here, okay? So, I don't believe it's in here yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, and let me, let me double check that to make sure we're doing that right. Just let me double check it. I don't ever want to tell you guys wrong. Let's see. Uh, yep, that is it. That is the one. Okay, so in our textures... Grab the simple menu.ytd and pull it in your open IV in that pathway we just went to and drop it in. Now, if you go into your search tab, your open IV, and just type in simple and you click on this YTD file, if you get that, close out and reopen it. This is the menu for your simple trainer inside the game. Okay, that's what this is for. Just close out of this. Make sure you clear that search tab. Click file. Close all archives, close out, close out of this window, and get rid of that shortcut, okay? Now, let's pull up our main game directory again. Open up the Radio Realism Alpha uh, WinRAR. Double-click on that folder. Double-click on the Grand Theft Auto V right here. You want to double-click on the LSPDFR. And then the audio. And then the scanner. Stop right there. In your main directory, you want to go to LSPDFR. Audio, scanner, see how that pathway matched? Grab this resident folder right here. If you look down in here, you're going to see a resident folder. We're going, to re we're going to be replacing that, okay? Grab the resident folder from your WinRAR. Pay very close attention. When you pull it in, do not highlight anything. If you highlight something and you drop it, you're going to mess it up. Do not do that. Pull it over here to the buffer zone, drop it, and replace the 18 files in the destination, okay? Then go back to your main game directory. Close out of this. Get rid of the shortcut and open up your Radio Realism uh, First Response, which should be labeled under Officer Porky. Uh, grab the uh, plugins and the LSPFR folder. Now, in your main game directory, you should be in Common Grand Theft Auto V. That's where you should be at, okay? Or Epic Games Grand Theft Auto V, whichever one you're playing on. Grab the LSPFR and the plugins folder from the WinRAR, pull it into your main game directory, drop them in, and there you go. Get rid of that shortcut. I'm going to pull this down a little bit because I don't want to accidentally drop something in there. That would not be good. All right. Next up, let's open up our Sticky Wheels WinRAR. Double click on the GT5 folder inside the WinRAR. Grab the plugins folder, pull it into your main game directory, and drop it in. All right. Let me pull this down just a little bit. This is a little bit too big for my liking. There we go. Close out of that. Get rid of the shortcut. Open up Stop the Ped. Double click on the Stop the Ped folder. Grab the plugins folder only. Pull it into your main game directory and drop it in. All right. Close out of that. Get rid of the shortcut. Open up your search items reborn WinRAR. Double click on the folder inside that. Double click on the GTA 5 folder. Grab the plugins folder only. Pull it in. It's going to ask you to replace the files. Go ahead and replace the two files. All right. Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut. Ultimate backup. Last but not least. Double click on the ultimate backup folder, grab the plugins folder only, pull it into your main game directory, drop it in, and replace the two files, okay? It's going to ask you to replace the files. Close out of that, get rid of the shortcut. Now, let's get into manipulating these files, okay? So, let me scroll in the main directory. I don't think there's anything in here we, that we need, we need to manipulate. Um, I think all this is good to go. Then we got everything in here taken care of. Okay, let's go back to the top. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up we're going to open up our scripts folder, okay? So let's open up the scripts folder. And in here, we want to go, the first thing we want to do is go to our in-game screenshot configuration setting and open that up, okay? I'll pull that over here. And all you have to do in here is change this J to a capital K, okay? Just change it to a capital K. And then click File and click Save and then Close Out. Now, the next thing we're going to do in here is we're going to go to our simple HUD configuration setting down here, okay? Let me pull it over here. All right. And now we are going to start manipulating these files. All right, we're going to start manipulating these files. So, right here, guys and girls, all this right here is good to go. Now, for direction, position X, pay very close attention. We're going to change that 182 to a 292. This is going to put your simple HUD in the perfect position for you. If you don't like it, 
I'll show you how to move it in game, okay? I'll show you how to move it. All right? The direction, position, why. Uh, that one is good to go. You can leave that one alone. Um, let's see here. Um, I think these two are good right here. Want to make sure. And the scale, the scale, the direction scale, guys. These two right here are not my other 9i files, so I must not have saved it. But this one right here, direction scale, change that 55 to a 51, okay? Now we're going to go down to this part right here, the road. All right, we're going to enter that part right there. Now on this part, where it says road position X, change that 204 to a 312, okay? The one below that is fine. And then the road scale, you want to uh, just erase that 5 is all you got to do, erase the 5. Okay, now let's scroll on down and let me make sure we're in the right spot here. So postal right here. We're not going to use this postal, guys. Um, so you can go ahead and go down here where it says post enabled and highlight that true and set that to false. Now, for those who do want to use this postal and not the one for call out interface, this is how you want to set this. Leave it just the way it is just the way it is and you can move it in game if you want to i'll show you how to do it okay next up is going to be our time okay um right here the top one is fine but the time position y change that 96 to a 912 okay and the scale is fine and then the time format we want to change that 24 to a 12 make sure your time enabled is set to true okay make sure that's set to true down here, toggle key equals F10. Highlight that F10 and change that to a capital B. All right, because F10 is for our it was for our callout interface. Okay. Down here, modifier key equals Shift. Highlight that Shift and type in capital N O N E, just like that. And make sure your menu enabled equals false is set to true, or your menu will not work. Okay. So I want to make sure, double check that I got this right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I'm still trying to get over this cold. The cough is always the worst part of it, right? The cough just it lingers and lingers and lingers. Um, I think that is pretty much it. So once you're done, click File and click Save. And then close out. And then I think that is it for in here. Uh, let's go back to our main game directory. And we are now going to navigate to our plugins folder okay now in here there's a few things that we well one thing we a couple things we got to change first thing we're going to do is go to the spotlight resources folder here and we are going to go into the general configuration setting now right here where it says editor key equals f11 change that f11 to an f6 okay and then we're going to scroll on down here and right here under where it says keyboard settings for the keyboard controls Highlight that I right there and change that um, to a capital S, okay? Then let's scroll on down right here where it says controller settings. Uh, modifier key needs to be set to capital N-O-N-E. And make sure the one below that is also set to none, okay? Just make sure it's a capital N on the beginning, all right, guys? Has to be a capital N. Um, let me scroll on down here. And let's see, we want to go on down to the mouse settings right here, okay? The left control modifier key is fine. However, change the toggle key from I to capital S, all right? And I think that's pretty much it for in here. Uh, make sure you click File and click Save and then close out. And let me check these settings right here. This might be a little bit too much to go through. We might have to go over this in the game. What I can do for you guys... What I can do for you guys is I can um, what I can do is I can copy this and I can paste these into uh, the description for you all. Okay, so for example, I have a backup copy um, of my offsets and my visual settings. If you guys would like to have them, I'll put them either in the uh, description or the pin comments, or I might just upload them. Uh, in the Discord where you guys can get them and copy them and paste them right into um, your files here and just overwrite them. So 
all you would have to do, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, this is how I do it every single time that I install my LSPFR. Uh, this is exactly how I do it. So I'm going to bring up my offsets, and this is my offsets that I have saved here uh, from my backup INI, right? So what I would do is I would just go in here. Now, when you guys get this, what you're going to do, you're going to highlight. You're going to go in here and hit left control A to highlight everything. Right click, click copy, close out, go into the offsets of your settings here, right? And you're going to do the same thing, except there's one other step. You're going to go in here, okay? And you're going to hit left control A. You're going to backspace and hit left control V to paste my settings in there, okay? Then once you're done, click file and click save and close out. Now, visual settings, same exact thing. I'll show you exactly what I do, okay? So I'm going to grab my spotlight um, offset visuals. And I'm going to copy everything. And I'll bring it over here so you guys can see it. Because if we went through every single one of these, it would just be a lot to go through. As you guys can see, there is a lot in here to manipulate, okay? So it's just easier if I leave these either in the Discord or the description for you. Um, and you just want to go in here and you want to highlight everything. Right click, click copy. And then close out of it. Then open up your visual settings in your directory, okay? And you're going to do the same exact thing. If I can ever get this thing to work right today, I don't know why it's there we go. And you're going to highlight everything in here. Backspace, hit left control V. And I will show you in game. You guys should be able to see it in game if you do it this way, okay? Once you're done, click file and click save. Your spotlight is going to be dead on where it's supposed to be. It's going to be extremely bright because I have mine set to bright. Now, once we're done here, we're going to go back. Um, and you should be in grant. Actually, let's go back to the main game directory so I don't confuse anybody, okay? Now, what we want to do next is from our main game directory, you should be in common Grand Theft Auto 5. From here, you're going to go to plugins, and then we're going to go down to turn off that engine configuration setting, okay? We're going to bring, I'm going to bring that over for you so you guys can see it. And in here, the only thing, now control, uh, keyboard users, you can leave yours at C if, you, if that's what you like. Whatever you change it to, just make sure it's a capital letter if you want to change it. Or whatever, you know, just make sure it's a capital letter. Now, controller users, this is very beneficial to you on your controller. What you want to do is go down here where it says controller support by default. Highlight um, the right thumb. And then right click and click copy. Go down to where it says turn off engine equals none. Highlight that none and hit left control V. Or right, uh, right click on your mouse and hit paste. All right. And that's going to paste right thumb. And now to turn off your vehicle, you just click on your right thumb stick. It will turn it off. Click File. Click Save. And close out. Now, from, I think that's it for in here. Actually, no, it's not. No, it's not. Um, immersive effects configuration setting, guys. Let's open that up. All right, let's open this up. And in here, uh, for the menu key, we're going to change that from an F5 to an F2 and the left shift we can leave it just the way it is it's completely fine um, and that is it for in here go ahead and click file and click save okay and then close out now from this pathway where we're at we should be in common grant the little five plugins or if you're an epic game you should be in epic games GT5 plugins that's where you should be at okay from here we're gonna go to our LSPFR I'm sorry go back go back go back to your plugins and we want to open up our dash cam V configuration setting. We almost forgot about that one. I almost forgot about that one, okay? And we are going to manipulate. Now, this is a pretty long file to manipulate. Stout the pet is the longest one. And we still got a little bit to go. Let's pull this up real big. Now, uh, there's a few things we're going to have to change in here, okay? Um, for example, if you want to use the imperial system instead of the metric right here where it says choose measurement system, highlight that zero and change that to a one, okay? Um, and then we're going to scroll on down. This is your date format of what shows up on the vehicle. Uh, you can do month, day, and year, day, month, and year, or year, month, and day. And you would just change these accordingly to how you want them set, okay? So if you want month, day, and year, you would set it at zero, and then this is one, and this one is two, okay? Uh, this right here is your unit name. So for me, I'm going to put Sergeant... 
justice, okay? Justice, not just Eve. Um, we're going to set that to Sergeant Justice, okay? Because that's my name. That'll show up on the, I think it shows up on the dash, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right here, state for San Andreas. I'm going to leave that at San Andreas. Down here, very important where it says controls. Um, right there where it says controls, right here. Uh, change that remote toggle key from E to a capital I. The left control key is fine, okay? Down here where it says change remote view gamepad toggle, change both of these right here to none. You do not want this on your controller because we have a few things on our controller that we only need on the controller, okay? Now, down here is the last part, but probably the longest part, okay? This is what's going to show up on your dash cam when you pull it up. So, for example, I put... I like to type in Department of, if I can type today, Criminal Justice, okay? Now, what I'll do once I've got this typed out, I will highlight it, and I will hit left control C to copy it. And then each other one down here, you just highlight these, hit left control V, highlight it, hit left control V, highlight it, left control V, highlight it. Left control view. This is why I have my INI file saved in my notepads. So when I go to install my LSPFR, I do not have to do this every single time. I just copy the entire notepad and I paste it into here and it is done. It's, it's, just, it's just done that quick. All right. And then uh, just make sure the ones you're highlighting is the one that says it's beside department equals and you highlight that part and hit left control V to just put your name in there. Whatever you want to put, you can put it here. It'll show up on your dash cam. And you can put different names for each one, or you can put the same name for each one. It's completely up to you, okay? I just put the same one for every single one. It's just, um, it seems to be easier that way. And it does take a it does take a little bit to copy over these and, and paste them. Um, but once you're done, you're done. And I'll show you a trick on how to save your INI file for backup for later on, If you know, because I'm sure you'll install LSP for more than once in your life. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've installed it. Um, I would say at least over a hundred times easy, very easy a hundred times. Um, so I'm going to just get all these changed guys. I'm so sorry. This takes a minute, but I want to show you guys every little step in here. Um, it just, it just takes a minute. So you just type it one time and then you go down here and you just copy and paste and that's it. And that's all we got to do. I want to make sure we got everything right. Let me go back to the very top here. I think we got everything. Um, this uh, enables, right here, guys, you can do this if you want to. I normally don't because I like it in color. But this disables the black and white dash cam filter. So if you want the the, the black and white look in the, in the dash cam, you set that to true with the capital T. If you don't, just leave it at false. I leave mine at false because I like it to look be in color. Um, the black and white probably way more realistic, but I just like it in color. Um, and I think that is pretty much it guys for in here. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. So we're going to click, um, we're going to click file and click save. We're going to close out and let me make sure that is it for in here. I think that, okay. One more guys right here, restrain the deceased configuration setting, open that up. You should be in your plugins folder guys. Remember, um, the last part of your pathway should say common grant the five plugins. That's where you should be right here. Okay? And right here, guys, um, for keyboard users, um, for controller users, you can leave this at D-pad right, okay? You can leave it at D-pad right. Um, we do not need a modifier key. Let's see. Uh, restrain key T. Change that from a T, guys. Um to a capital E. Change it to a capital E. That way it's um, not conflicting with anything else, okay? And then everything else I think is fine. Um, like I said, guys, if something's wrong, we'll always come back to the desktop and change it. Uh, go ahead and click File and click Save, and we can now close out of this. And let me just double-check something real quick, guys. I'm going to check my INI file for that just to make sure that we got that right because I do not want to tell you guys wrong. Um, let's see. So yes, that is right. Um, for keyboard users and, um, controller users. Okay. So 
uh, we're good to go on that. Now, from our plugins folder in our main game directory, we should be in common. Grant that Auto 5 plugins from here, from this point, okay? From this point, we are going to go to our LSPFR folder and double click on it. Now, we are going to start manipulating the files in here. We are going to start with, uh, let's start with Grammar Police, guys. Open up the Grammar Police folder. All right. And right here where you see the default configuration setting, right click and click copy. Go down here, left click, right click, and paste. And then you want to double click on the one, not double click, but just click on the one that says default dash copy. Click on that until it's highlighted and name this to custom and click enter and hit F5. Then open up your custom folder, okay? Let's open up our custom folder and let's pull this out. Now, from here up, this right here, you can delete. But do not delete anything else, okay? Now, I'm going to get my Grammar Police I and I pulled up so that we can have kind of a, a cheat sheet, if you will. Um, Grammar Police, let me see here. Grammar Police, where is that at? So, my Grammar Police, I'm, I'm just trying to find it here, guys. Just give me a second. And uh, I will find it. Here it is right here. So there's my cheat sheet. Okay. So right here, again, uh, this is going to be the call sign that Grammar Police is going to recognize you by, guys. Remember, we did this in call-out interface as well. So it's the same exact thing. Your first set of numbers can be 1 through 10. Your last set of numbers can be 1 through 24. Your name can be anything between the initials of A and Z. So A, uh, Adam, Boyd, Charles, David. Edward, Frank, Henry, Ida, King, Mary, Nora, Ocean, uh, Henry, Lincoln, uh, X-Ray, Zebra, et cetera, et cetera. But make sure whatever name you pick, it is in all capital letters, okay? Now, for agency codes, there's a few that you can pick from. You can pick from generic. I think there's a California code you can pick from. But the one that I use that seems to work the best, it's all got to be caps, is immersive. I M M. E R S I V E. Make sure the quotes stay in place, okay? Make sure those quotes stay in place. Set this to immersive, guys, and I'm going to show you exactly how to talk to grammar police within the game. Now, right here under where it says controls, okay? Controls, dispatch key. Change that right menu. Now, your right menu key, if you want to leave it, your right menu key is just your right alt key on your keyboard. It's just your right alt key on your keyboard. That's all it is, okay? Change that from right menu to a zero, okay? Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. To a zero. All right, this is going to be the zero on top of your keyboard, not your numpad, but the zero on top of your keyboard. Now, if you want to leave it at right menu, then you can leave it at right menu, okay? But I like to change mine to zero. Now, below that, where it says interface key, change that from an F3 to an FA. I promise, guys, if you follow my instructions and change these key binds just the way I'm showing you, your mods will never clash. And if they do, we'll come back to the desktop and we'll fix them. Okay? Now, underneath that, the modifier key is fine. Where it says settings key, F2, change that F2 to an F7. Okay? Now, down here is very important. This is your radio key. Now, personally, I do not use the radio but I'm going to leave it in the game just to show you guys how it works, okay? So we're going to leave that set at the, um, at, the, at the C key, okay? We're going to leave that set at the C key. Actually, I'm going to change mine to O, and I'm going to put a modifier key with it, okay? So left control key, we're going to copy that and go to radio modifier key, and hit left control V. We're going to set that to left control O. So if you want to use if you want to use the radio key, just set it to left control key and then O, okay? Just make sure it's a capital O. All right? Down here where it says hotkeys. Um, make sure that your hotkeys. Now you can use hotkeys if you want and you can set these however you want. <coughs> Sorry guys. You can set these however you want whether you want it to be a numpad number or a number or a capital letter. You can set these hotkeys, okay? But I'll show you in the game how to tag these keys within the menu itself. So for right now, let's leave all these hotkeys set at none, okay? Um, we can go all past this. 
Um, down here where it says buttons right here, this is for controller users. Leave those set to none, okay? Down here, very important, we have to set this. Display, okay? We got to set the display. So make sure that both show notifications and player status is set to true, okay? Make sure it's set to true. Sorry, guys. Let me get a drink real quick. <coughs> All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to wet my whistle. So right here, uh, also make sure your, your show target plate is also set to true. Now, status text position X, change that 388 to a 489. 489, make sure it's changed to 489. The one below that, make sure that is changed to 980. And then below that, make sure that's changed to 47. All right, then your radio position X, make sure that is changed from a 1400 to a 625. The radio position Y, make sure that's changed from a 495 to a 669. And the one below that, the 70, change that from a 70 to a 43. All right, now we're going to go on down to the PTT, which is right here. All right, make sure that this right here, hold the talk, is set to true, okay? I cannot type today. Um, that one's fine. This right here, the PTT push sound, um, leave those the same because we'll go over those in game and I'll show you how to change those, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this right here, the preface response to two because that's the one I like. If you want to change the two, you can, and I'll explain what the preface response is in game. Uh, moving on down to immersion. Okay, immersion down here. We're going to change some of this. We might be able to change some of this stuff. Maybe not. Uh, let me see here. It all might be good to go. Handle availability. Um, I'm sorry. Enable traffic stop right here. You want to set that to true. Okay, make sure that's set to true. Now, all this you can set in the end game menu. Don't get me wrong. You can set it in the end game menu. Uh, you can do it like that. But it's just, uh, it's a lot easier to just go ahead and do it through the INI file and just get it done, um, in my opinion. But I will explain to you in game on how it works in the menu itself, okay? So let's see. False, true, false, false, true, true. Um, okay, right here, guys, where it says attempt to initiate pursuit equals false, change that to true, okay? Um, let's see. Let me go on down here. Um, we got this. I think this is all good to go. Right here where it says use generic response, guys. Highlight that false and change it to true, okay? Let's move on down to the backup section right here, okay? That's where we're going to be at. All right. Um, I don't... Okay, officer backup error equals false. Change that from false, you guessed it, guys, to true. All right. And then the rest of those are fine. Um, down here where it says pit. Now, this is the rate of the pit, okay? Like when you pit someone. Um, and I don't really ever mess with this. I just kind of leave it the way it is. I just don't mess with that stuff. Let's go on down to pursuit here, guys, okay? Down to pursuit. Um, I think all that is fine. Um, now, down here to use natives, this is very important that you pay attention to this part. All these need to be set to false. So, highlight the false, hit left control C, and change the ones that are true to false by highlighting true, hitting left control V, just like so. Make sure they're all changed to false, okay? And I think that is pretty much it for Grammar Police. That is a long I and I file, guys. It's pretty long. Um, let's go ahead and click File and click Save. And we can then close out of that. I want to make sure these are saving as well. They, in fact, are saving. Okay. So, let's go back. Let's go to our main directory here and click the arrow back. And now you should be in Grand Theft Auto 5 Plugins LSPDFR. That should be the last part of your pathway. LSPDFR should be okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and scroll down in here. You should see Call Out Interface, CompuLight, Grammar Police, Slider Gun, you know, all that good stuff in here. If you see that, you're in the right place, okay? So let's go on down and open up the bait car configuration setting. 
And in here, there's probably only one thing that we need to change, and that's going to be the main menu key right here. We're going to change that from an F7 to an F11, okay? And then everything else, I think, is pretty good to go. Yeah, that's all good to go. So that's the only thing we need to change. Click File, guys. Click Save. Always save your settings so you don't lose those settings, okay? Um... Did we do, we already did CompuLite, right? I think we did. Yes, we did. Okay, Heli Assistance, guys, is the next one up. Heli Assistance, open up the Heli Assistance configuration setting. All right, let's pull this over. And now in here, uh, the first thing we're going to go to is where it says main right here. So player name, again, I'm going to put mine in as Sergeant Justice, okay? Man, I could not type today to save my life. Uh, Sergeant Justice, okay? And then, um, let's see, down here. So right down here, guys, where it says unit name. This is the name of your chopper, what it's going to be recognized as when it comes into your rescue, okay? I name mine Justice One, okay? But you can name yours whatever you want, and when you call for that chopper, um, it will... It will come in as and it'll show the name above your mini map. Now, let me make this very clear. This mod does not work through Grammar Police. You have to manually call your chopper uh, with the couple of keys, which I think is left shift H, and that calls your chopper. But for some reason, this mod does not work through Grammar Police no more. It hasn't worked for the last couple of versions. I just want to make you guys aware of that. But this mod is worth having only because alone because of the spotlight mod that shines down from that chopper onto the cars it's so bright and awesome it looks beautiful and it really lights the road for you at nighttime um and i don't know why the guy has not updated this he really needs to update this mod so it's you know in touch with grammar police and we can use it through grammar police that way instead of having to hit a couple of keys we can just say you know dispatch uh, requesting air support you know we can do it like that now down here uh, these keys are completely fine. You do not have to change these right here where you can request the heli. Like I said, is left shift H and left control H pulls up your menu. Okay. Um, I think that is it, uh, down here. We will change, um, the majority of this will be changed in the game. Okay. And I'll show you how to change all this in the game. Normally I change my INI file before I go in like right here, I would change that. Okay. But we'll change the rest of it in game. And let's go ahead and click File, click Save, Close Out, and then we're going to scroll on down, and we're going to go into the Officer Porky Plugin Configuration setting, okay? Let me get that pulled over here real quick, and we'll get it pulled up. And we're going to start by highlighting this word right here, True, and hit Left Control C, because I think we're going to need that. All right? Right here, guys, where it says um, Display Street Detection Notification. Highlight that false and hit left control V to set it to true. You want to know where the suspect is, and this is what it's going to tell you, okay? Uh, that's what that is for. Um, it also displays it above your mini map and tells you what street they're on and stuff, so it's pretty cool how it works. Uh, this right here, I would leave this at false because this is only going to tell you if they're under 60 miles an hour, and you want to know if they're going above it right now. If you want to, you can set this to true. But I like leaving mine at false because I only want to know, um, you know, if they're going above 60. That's when I want to be notified of it, okay? Uh, but you can set it true if you want to. Let's scroll on down here, and let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. Uh, enable auto uh, ped ID check. You want to set that false to true, okay? Most of these you want set to true. Um, this one, leave it at false. The the radio animation is, it it's it just gets in the way. It just really gets in the way. Um, just trust me on that, guys. All right, so right here, um, key to play backup animation. Highlight that B and just type in capital N-O-N-E. We don't need that. And um, down here for controller buttons, uh, set those controls to none as well. We don't need that. Uh, and the bottom one as well, set that to none. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for the Officer Porky plugin. Click File, click Save, Close Out, and we are now going to move on to Riskier Traffic Stops Configuration setting. Let's open that up. Let's get it real big. Now, right here, the chance of that one of the outcomes happens, the value can be up to 100. So the higher you set this, 
the more chance that you're going to have of a suspect, say, taking off in their car or getting out and shooting at you or getting out and having a confrontation with you, I like to set mine to about 30. And that seems to be pretty good for me, okay? Um, everything else down through here is good to go, okay? This is your talk key right here, which is why. Click File and click Save and close out, okay? Now we're going to move on down to Stop the Ped Configuration Setting. Open that up. All right. And now in here, these keys right here are all fine. Okay. These are all fine. Um, right here where it says shortcut key to pat down the stop pad, highlight that F10 and change that to a nine because remember F10 is for our call out interface. Okay. Now down here where it says key to call transport right here, change that eight to a nine the, if you see some it says d9 d8 d7 d6 that just means the numbers on top of your keyboard that's all it means all right so um, this right here is your shortcut key to pat down the pad so if you walk up to a vehicle or you walk up to a pedestrian you hit f9 it will automatically search them without you having to pull up the stop the pad menu to do so okay and i'll show you how to do it both ways it's actually really quite simple um right here you want to leave this alone guys do not change anything there um, right here, controller button to open up the context menu. We want both of these set to none. So you can type out none. You can highlight it. Control C. Go to the next one down. Hit left control V. Now this one right here, leave it completely alone. You need that. Okay. This is for controller users right here. Shortcut button to quick grab the pad. Set both of these to none. The B set the B to none. And the D-pad left, set it to none as well. But leave it on your keyboard. Make sure it stays on your keyboard. Now, right here, button to tackle the player's chasing pursuit pad. This is for controller users. Make that a capital X, okay? And then the one below that says button to boost player speed. Highlight that Y and change it to a capital A. That way, when you're sprinting after your suspect, you'll notice now when we go into the game, we can run a lot faster when we're sprinting. That's because of stop the pad, okay? Um, let's move on down. There's a couple of other things we got to change. Now, right here is very important. This is completely up to you guys. I like to leave this set to yes, because this says take control of all peds arrested by LSP for cop and prevent the suspect being transported. Try, uh, sorry guys. I like to change this to no, because what this does, if you leave that set at yes, then every time an LSP for officer, one of the other officers arrest somebody, they'll leave them there with you. So if you set this to no, they'll go ahead and take in the jail for you, okay? Um, so leave that at no. Let's scroll on down. And there'll be something else I'll have to change back at the main directory once we get done in here, okay? So let's scroll on down here. Um, right here where it says force search result full screen. Change this from a yes to a no. And I'm going to tell you why. If you leave it at yes when you search somebody or a car, the game will pause, pull up full screen on what you found. Instead of it doing that, the game goes on continuing to play, and it pops up above your mini-map. It's way better like that. Now, you can leave it at yes if you want to and always come back and change it later if you want, okay? Um, let's move on down here, and I'm trying to look at this very carefully so I do not miss anything at all. Um, right here, do not change this. I'm just going to explain it to you guys. The Stop the Pet Advanced Flashlight. We're going to have to go back to our main game directory and manipulate a file in our LSPFR file, okay? In our LSPFR folder in our main game directory to make this work, okay? Uh, let's scroll on down. Let's see here. Um, I know there's something else we got to change. Uh, right here, guys, whether to use glowing stick, parking one, I would set this to no. It's just not a very cool feature. I don't really dig it. I would set that to no. Now, Realistic weapon system. We're going to go ahead and we're going to set this to no because I'm going to show you how it works in the game. Set that to no, guys. All right. Let's scroll on down here. Comped. Um, let's see. Um, I don't want to miss in there. I know there's something that I got to show you guys how to change. Um, right here, guys. Whether the prisoner transport backup is enabled, you want that set to yes. Make sure that's set to yes, okay? Um, make sure that's set to yes. Right here. Whether you want to use the nearest cop as the prisoner transport. 
you want this set to yes because I'm going to tell you why. When you're on a traffic stop, instead of having to call for transport every time, if you've got a backup unit there and you say dispatch, send me a 1016 or dispatch, send me transport, your backup unit will actually take the suspect into jail for you instead of waiting on transport to get there, okay? Um, right here, very important. The siren light and sound setting for prisoner transport. This is very important, guys. Um, we want the siren light arrive. I'm just going to set this to no because no matter how I set this, they come in with lights and sirens blaring anyway, and I can't send the siren. So just make sure. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys, that all these are set to no right here, okay? Every single one of these are set to no. Um, let's see. Let me move on down here. Um, I think that might be it for this INI file, guys. We got ultimate backup to manipulate, and then we can go into game and do our final in-game showcase. I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Go back to the very top of your, um, if I can get mine to go up there. There we go. Click file. Click save. Let me look over it, guys, just to make sure we got everything right. I don't want to tell you guys wrong about anything. I think we got it all right. All right, so make sure you click file, click file, and click save. Or you can just hit left control S, and that will save it as well. And then we can now close out of that. Let's now go into our ultimate backup configuration setting. Let me pull that over here. All right, and let's get this up real big. Now, this one's not very big, guys. Uh, right here where it says keys, we want to change this toggle menu key to a capital U. Change that B to a capital U, okay? Um, right down here. Let's go on down through here. Um, right control numpad one is your group backup. Your panic is right control key numpad zero. Uh, T is uh, to command your canine partner. I'll show you how all the canine and your partner stuff works in the game. It's ultimate backup probably takes us the longest to go over. Even though it's the shortest INI file, it takes us the longest to go over. Um, let's scroll on down here. Right here, guys, where it says perimeters is code two siren lights on. Set that from a yes to a no, okay? Uh, let's scroll on down. And I think that is pretty much it. I think that's it for this one. Um, let's go ahead and click file, click save, close out. And let me double check here to make sure that we got every single mod we were supposed to get in here. And I think we did. We're going to go back to our main game directory, guys. So now you should be in common, Grand Theft Auto V, or Epic Games, GTA V, okay? In here, you should see your plugins folder, mods folder, LSPFR, ELS. In this part, you want to go to your LSPFR folder and double click it. And you want to go into the LSPFR configuration setting, okay? There's a reason we're doing this. Remember, I talked about that stop the pad flashlight, okay? In here, you're going to go to this right here where it says ambient dot disable player flashlight override equals true. Highlight that. I'm sorry, equals false. Highlight that false and type in true. This now disables the vanilla flashlight and allows you to use the stop the pad flashlight, okay? So, once you're done there, click file, click save, close out of this. We're going to go back to our main game directory. Close out of that. Open up your recycle bin, guys. And as always, clean this out. I don't care what anybody tells you. If your recycle bin gets too full, it will slow down your PC, okay? Now, since we installed some standalone plugins, remember what I said about standalone plugins, guys? If you go in your main game directory, go to plugins. Anything you install into this plugins folder right here is a standalone plugin, which means anytime you do that, you have to launch LSPFR like so. Click on your Rage plugin hook and immediately hold down the left shift key and keep holding it down until your Rage window pops up right here. Now, you will notice when you go to the plugins tab, you will have more plugins. See that? Go to load these plugins on startup and click check all and go to load all plugins on startup. Now, before you do this, okay, I'm showing you how to do it. Before you do this, guys, and go into game, please restart your PCs. We just installed 20 plugins, I think 19, 20 plugins, and we manipulated the file. So it's going, you need to restart your PC to give it a fresh start, okay? I'm going to do the same thing. So we're going to restart our PCs, and I will see you all inside of LSPFR. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have now restarted our PCs, and this is the way we are going to launch our LSPFR because we installed some standalone plugins. You are now going to click on your Rage plugin hook and immediately hold down the left shift key 
until your rage box pops up, which is this doodad right here, this thingamajig. We're going to go to plugins, and you will now notice that you have more plugins. Go to load these plugins on startup and click check all. Okay, everything should be checked. Then go back and click on load all plugins on startup. Click save and launch. And I will see you all inside of LSPFR. This is the last in game showcase, and we will be done unless something goes wrong. See you on the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So if you spawned into the game like this, you more than likely did because we the way that we launched LSPFR. If you didn't and you're already on duty, that's fine. But if you did spawn in the game like this, Hit F4 on your keyboard, type in F-O-R-C-E. Once you see Force Duty, hit Tab and hit Enter. It's now going to load up all of our plugins here. And once everything loads up, I will uh, exit out here. Once it loads up, you can hit Escape. All right. And the first thing we're going to do is pull up our Simple Trainer by hitting F3. We are going to go to weather and hit extra sunny. And we're going to load up our weapons by going to weapons and going down to weapons load save menu. And going up to load all weapons in slot one and load them. Now, if you guys want to add the radar gun to your weapon wheel, uh, like you see mine right there, which is the vintage pistol, this is all you have to do. Go into your simple trainer, go to weapons, and then just scroll up until or down whichever way you want to go until you get a vintage, to vintage pistol and then add that to your weapon wheel okay and then once you're done make sure you go back over to weapons load save menu and make sure you save all the weapons in slot one okay uh, and that will um, make sure you load your weapons first before you do that though that way it doesn't overwrite your previous save okay so and then you will then have your radar gun in there now we are going to first go over, um, let's see. Now let's get So we are first bar. going to go over immersive effects, okay? Now the way immersive effects works, it's actually pretty cool. Now if we, let's hop out of our car. If we hit F, uh, left shift F2, that's going to bring up our immersive effects menu, okay? Now if we go to amplitudes, this is gonna be to set your amplitude. So uh, for example, the shooting amplitude is set at three, so if I pull my gun out, all right, and I fire a shot, you're gonna see the screen kind of shake, right? Now, see that blue dot on your map? That's your backup coming through shots fired through your um, deadly weapons. If you wanna get rid of them, hold down the enter key, and that will dismiss your backup, okay? That's through stop the pet, and I mean, that's through ultimate backup, all right? So if we hit left shift F2, Go to amplitudes. You can adjust that however high or however low you want. Now, if we go up to 10, you'll notice that it shakes a little bit more when I shoot. See that? All right, and if we go a little higher, it only goes to 15 max. All right, so I like to keep mine set to about three. And then you've got your vehicle base collision amplitude, which is the amplitude in which the screen shakes when you crash your car. So I'll show you what I mean here. So if I crash into something, see how it shakes the screen? You can adjust these however you want. This is your reloading amplitude for reloading your gun, falling, uh, jumping amplitude, handbrake amplitude, health loss, uh, any kind of change you make, guys. And you can change these with your arrows on your keyboard or, your, or the D-pad on your controller. Any changes you make, make sure you click save, okay? Now let's back, back out of that. That's how immersive effects works. So if we, uh, you know, if we run into a car, it kind of shakes the screen. You guys seen that? And if we hit the handbrake, all right, it kind of has an effect as well. All right, so uh, turn off that engine. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you pull up, and for keyboard users, you're going to hit the C. For controller users, you're going to click the right thumbstick, and it's going to shut your engine off just like that. Now to start it back, you would just hit the gas. All right, just like so. And that turns it back off, all right? Uh, so riskier traffic stops. Let's try that out. We're gonna we're gonna initiate a traffic stop here and let's see how it goes. All right, now see how they're gonna run? That is part of riskier traffic stops, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to use grammar police in a pursuit. Now, if you wanna call for a helicopter, remember with heli assistance, you cannot do it through 
your grammar police. You can call for a helicopter, but they're not going to send. I mean, they'll send a chopper, but it'll be the vanilla. You want the one uh, through heli assistance. Trust me, it's much better. And uh, speaking of that, we're going we're gonna to kick the time down here a little bit so it's a little bit closer to nighttime. That way you guys can see this helicopter light. So if you want to call for a chopper through heli assistance, you are going to hit left shift H on the keyboard. Suspects in the car. All right. And you are now, you're now going to see that chopper fly over. And I'm going to show you guys how to set all that up here in a minute uh, through the menu itself. Now, if you want to call for backup through Grammar Police, you're going to do it like this. Dispatch requesting backup. All right, and they're going to send backup, and this guy's trapped in. There's that chopper right there, and your backup's coming. Now he's on foot. All right, so we're going to chase this guy down. You're going to notice that we are going to run a lot faster than what we did before because of stop the pad. All right, so I've got my taser out. You can say stuff like this. Dispatch, we have an active pursuit. Copy. All right, we're going to tase this guy. I'm going to get him tased. Stop running, man. Taser deployed. Yeah, On the ground. Gotcha. You don't have to shoot me. Now, I'm putting him on the ground vanilla style, right? But if you want to arrest him... You're under arrest, you piece of crap. Well, he already arrested him. You dick. All right, he's going to get him up. All right. Now. Attention all units. Suspect apprehended in I think Soul. he's going to take him in, I believe. Stand down, return to patrol. Okay, Stand maybe he's not. He visual. Now, if you want to dismiss your helicopter guys, hit left shift H again and that will dismiss him. All right, and we got another pursuit going on up here. So, if you got a pursuit going guys, you can't get to you can go like this. Dispatch requesting backup. Now, to change the animation of your character where he talks with his hand actually on his mic, uh, we're going to hit the M on the keyboard. I'm going to turn my calls off real quick. Okay, they are off. To change, there's going to be a lot more stuff going on, guys, so just bear with me. To change the animation of your character where he's actually talking to the mic on his shoulder, you're going to hit the M on your keyboard. M is in, Man, I wish she'd shut up. You're going to hit M as in Mary. You're going to go down. Oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> We're airborne and moving in. Over. Okay, let me just end that pursuit real quick. Eagle 7, right on top of them. They're All right. West. To change the animation to where your character is actually talking into their mic, you're going to hit the M as in Mary on your keyboard. You're going to go down to police radio and where it says action. You can change that from handheld to earpiece to chest to shoulder. Okay. Now, I get a lot of questions of how do I get my character to stand with his hands on his belt. It's right here. In the main menu of this, if you scroll down to where it says walk style and change that to cop, he will then stand with his hands on his belt. Just like so. All right, now, we're going to call transport for this guy, and you're going to do it like this. You can either say dispatch, send me a 1016, or dispatch requesting transport. We're going to do it like this. Dispatch requesting transport. In now, as you guys can see soul. down there in the corner, some of our stuff is overlapping, and we're going to fix that here in just a second. All right. Now, you can also search him by hitting E on the keyboard around the D-pad, or you can hit F9 to do a quick search. He will then turn around, and you will pat him down, and the items you find on him will then pop above your mini-map instead of freezing the game and popping up. All right. And everything you see is through Real Search Items Reborn. That's the items we replaced and stopped the pad. All right. So that's what we found. Um, let me go ahead and get back to my car here, wherever it may be at. It's way down here. Let me just spawn another one. All right. So now that we got that, um, let's see what we can do next here. I want to. I want to describe each. Madi, let's go over Grammar Police first. So we're gonna go to the airport in Sandy Shores, where there's no planes taking off or coming in. 
So we're going to go right here. I'm going to hop out of the car, turn the engine off. I'm going to hop out. Now, for grammar police, okay, you're going to hit left control F7 for this menu right here. This is going to be your display stains. If you go through here, all right, this is going to allow you to move your stuff. So um, show player notification. We set that in the INI file, right? That's your player notification. Your player status, that's down there at the bottom. Um, text position X, I believe that is this right here. Okay, the grand the grand sonora does that is simple HUD. What change that through simple HUD? All right, uh, your radio position, your scale. This is for uh, the s scale of your status down there, and I'll show you that in a minute once we get to it. Um, position for your radio that moves it back and forth, that moves it up and down, that makes it bigger or smaller. Um, that turns it on auto close when you close the menu out. You can also click edit radio position, same like it is with the LiDAR gun. You can move this around just like this wherever you want, okay? Some people put it in the top corner. Um, I like to put it about right here. I'm going to move it over a little bit so it's not over that status. And we're going to put it right there. Go backspace. Hit left control F7 again. And we're going to save configuration. Now, left control F8 if you want to study your 10 codes through Grammar Police. You're going to hit left control F8. This is going to be your advisory 10 codes right here, okay? These over here are going to be your backup codes, all right? Anything you need for backup, you can call through Grammar Police and they'll send it, okay? Interaction, if you say affirmative, negative, cancel, check, situation, normal. Uh, there's your pursuit stuff right here. Air support, you can request it right here. Um, and then you can request roadblock, spike strips, pit request. Uh, if we go on over, this is your request, all right? Your 10 codes through request. So your corner, EMS, fire, canine unit, uh, pedestrian check, plate check, radio check, ticket number, tow truck, transport, insurance vehicle. It's it's all here, guys. If we go on over, this is your status 10 codes. So your 10-8 available, 10-6, code 4, 10-80, code 6, 10-5. It's, it's all here, guys. You just got to go through it and learn it for yourself. Uh, that's kind of how I did it. This is your traffic. You can slow down traffic, stop traffic, clear traffic. Um, and I'll show you how all that works. Now, if we hit left control F7 again and we go to PTT settings, this is very important. This is the sound of our radio when we push it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and zero. Now, personally, I like using two or eight, okay? Then your release sound, when you release the key, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then that's it. So I normally use like three because it's that two is just piercing and the other ones are just a little bit too loud for me. I like that three. Now your dispatch. preface response is how dispatch is gonna respond to you when you say one atom or when you say your call sign to call in, okay? So if I go, one Adam. She's not going to respond with anything, right? Because I don't have the preface response set. So if I set it to one, this is dispatch. she's going to respond like this. One Adam. This is dispatch. Okay, and if I go to two, she'll respond like this. One Adam. Go ahead. All right, and if I go to three, she'll respond like this. One Adam. One, Adam, seven. All right. I like, dispatch. I like two. I like two, which is, this is dispatch. which is this one. Go ahead. All right. Again, backspace and whatever saves you make, make sure that you save it to your configuration setting like so. Okay. Now, everything else we have in here, I don't know why that chopper's flying around me. I don't know why he's over here. anyway. Um, he'll fly around sometimes um, if you have it set like that. I think we have it set like that where he flies around sometimes, so that's okay. So if you hit left control F7, everything else in here we set in our INI file, okay? We set in our INI file. You don't have to mess with it. It's already set and ready to go. Your backup settings is um, so when I'm calling in for backup and I have this set to yes, they'll ask me if I want air support if I call for backup. All right, I like to set all these to no except for air support because when I'm in a, when I'm in a pursuit and I'm calling for backup, <clears throat> I obviously need air support. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at no, okay? The rest of these things, like if I set this to on scene and I go 
Dispatch, show me on scene. She's going to ask me if I want backup. 10 4, copy. Okay. Is backup required? In which I would respond affirmative if I want it or negative if I don't. I'll say negative. Now, if I set that to no, 10 4, copy. she will not ask for backup, okay? It's the same with all these other ones. Same thing. Whatever changes you made, make sure you say the configuration setting, okay? Now, let's pull up our... Let's go ahead and pull up our simple HUD, guys. Let's go to B. Oh, and we've got menus conflicting, guys. We've got a couple of menus conflicting. So, if you want to get rid of that radio, hit left control O. We're going to go back to the desktop, and we're going to fix what is conflicting, which I believe is our vanilla backup menu there. Um, it is. So, I'm going to take you back to the desktop. We're going to change this and come right back into the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, I promised you if anything was conflicting, we would come back and fix it, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Everybody go to your file explorer, right click and click on your GT5 main directory. Now in here, we want to go into our LSPFR folder right here. And then we want to go to keys, okay? So pull up that keys. Let me bring mine over. And the one thing, there's only one thing we have to change in here, guys. And I'll find it real quick and we can get back to the game. Right here where it says backup menu key, which is towards the bottom, guys, at the very bottom here. Backup menu, key equals B. Highlight that B and change that to a capital N-O-N-E. That's literally all we had to do, guys. I completely forgot about that. Um, I do apologize. Click File and click Save. Close out. Close out of this. And you can now launch Rage the normal way. I will see you all inside of LSPFR. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So back to Simple Hub. We're going to hit the B in our keyboard. You will now notice there is nothing conflicting. But we are going to go into our general... Right here is your primary color for things. Um, that sets it to red. If you hit enter, it, it does change if you hit enter. So whenever you change them with your arrows, just hit the enter and it'll change the colors on them. I'm going to leave mine at uh, yellow. I think that's pretty good. Then we're going to go back. We're going to go to customize. Uh, limit. This is your show only in vehicles. So this would be like your speed limit uh, on the side of your mini map there wherever it displays at I don't see it displaying anywhere um, okay let's go back and then direction uh, so this is your eastbound you guys see it moving right there your eastbound that moves it back and forth that moves it up and down this is the scale of it uh, I'm gonna make mine a little smaller and Let's see. So yeah, this one moves it back and forth. This one moves it up and down. And this one adjusts the scale of that little E right there, if you guys can see that. All right, then we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to road. Um, this is for the road part, right? So the top one, the X position moves it right to left. The Y position moves it up and down, like so. The scale, of course, makes it bigger or smaller. We're gonna leave it about right there. And that enables it and disables it. Now let's go down to Postal. And that's the one we probably really need to move. Well, no, we don't have Postal enabled. So, um, Time. I think that's the one we need to move there. Um, let's see where we can move that to. We're, I'm going to move mine down, I think. I'm going to put mine down right there. And uh, the X position moves it left and right. The Y position moves it up and down. The scale, of course, makes it bigger or smaller. I'm going to put mine about like that. And move it about right there. It looks pretty good to me. Uh, make sure your, your clock is set at a 12-hour format. And click Enter. And then uh, County Enabled. So if we disable that, that's the county there. Uh, zone, uh, that's the city. So everything is set. Uh, once you get done, we're going to go back, go to settings, go to menu, and in here you can change your menu key if you want to to whatever you want uh, by hitting enter, and then you just change the, let me go back to it here, so we hit, hit the, hit the B, give me one second guys, so hit the B, go to settings, menu, and then you hit enter and you put in whatever key you want. If it's a letter, just make sure it's capital. Uh, you can set a modifier key and you can enable the menu or disable it by that right there. 
alignment of your menu. You can put this on the right side of your screen. If you feel like you're on the right side, you can put it over there, okay? Um, you can check for updates here by doing that. And that tells us we're on the latest update, okay? So that's pretty cool. So once you're done uh, making your changes, uh, you can leave it the way you want. And that is it for Simple HUD. So Simple HUD shows your um, where you're going eastbound Panorama Drive. You see on mine, it's 9.41 p.m., Grande Sonora Desert, and we're in Blaine County, okay? Now, that little status you see right there below that license plate, I'm going to show you how that license plate works, too, guys, through uh, Call Out Interface. That status right there is for our grammar police. So if I go like this, one at them. And I'm going to say, show me 10A. It's going to change that to 10A, the status. You can show me 1041, 10A. She didn't re recognize it. Dispatch, show me 10A. Roger. All right, there we go. So it's now available. That means we are now available for calls. And it's going to start giving us calls. Now, you guys can see that we reinstalled our HUD, our um, MDT textures for our MDT right there, and it's now colored. Um, now, if you want to accept the call, you go, dispatch, show me en route. And then we'll automatically route you to the call. And wherever the pursuit we is, the we're going to, we're going to, now, if you don't want the pursuit or you don't want to go to a certain call, you can go like this. We're on our way. Dispatch, show me code four. And it will discontinue the call. Attention all, all units. right. Code four, no further units required. So, um... Grammar police. Now, if you want to, if you pull up on the scene, if you go to a call and you're on scene, you can say one of the two things. You say, dispatch, show me on scene, or show me 1023. Dispatch, show me 1023. Roger. One, Adam, seven. Approach with caution. All right. And um, let's see what else I can think of. So let's go and make a traffic stop. Let's make a traffic stop so we can make this a little more realistic. Also, guys, your dash cam, I'll show you that real quick. If you hit the if you hit the select on your controller or the V on your keyboard and go into first person and hit it again, that will take you to your dash cam right here. See that? We're going to hit left shift to initiate a traffic stop and turn our lights on. All right. And we're going to get this guy to pull over. I'm going to show you how the dash cam works, guys. There's another There's another trick to it here as well. All right. Remember, custom pullover, ladies and gentlemen, is left control W. And your numpad operates at 8 goes up, 6 goes right. When you get it where you want, hit enter. And they'll pull up to that spot. Also, we're going to do spotlight while we're here, guys. If you hit left control S on your keyboard, right? And you can use your numpad. 6 will go left, right? 4 will go left. Two will come down, eight will go up. Now on your on your controller, you can use your left thumbstick like this, which makes it a little bit smoother, right? And we're gonna put that spotlight on. Now, if you use my INI files, the ones that I put in the pin comments or the Discord, wherever I put them at, uh, and you put and you copy those and paste those into your visual settings and your other one that I told you to paste into, then your spotlight sh should look exactly like mine. Now, if you wanna change it, you're gonna hit F6 on the keyboard and you're gonna grab this right here and you're gonna to go to where it says offsets. And this right here will set your your um, your spotlight to where you want it, all right? So this will move it up and down. Uh, this, this will move it in and out. This will move it up and down. This will adjust the scale of it, okay? Now your manual settings, I'm not gonna mess with anything because I've gotta set the way I want, but everything in here does something like your outer angle, your inner angle, this, the intensity makes it brighter. Um, the volume intensity makes it way brighter. This is how I set my stuff, okay? That is your... Now, you can do it for default. You can do it for boat, helicopter. Uh, so, you can actually get in the helicopter and set the spotlight if you want to. It's completely up to you. When you're done, make sure you always click save and close out, okay? And that's the F6 key. Now, we are going to call in the plate number to dispatch just like this. You're going to see it pop up my status and on that plate right there. One at him. Now see the plate pop up? Go ahead. Dispatch, you can show me on a 1011. I cannot stand when it does that. Let me try it again, guys. Dispatch, you can show me on a 1011. I'm gonna be southbound Panorama Drive uh, near the Yellow Jack. 
That's just gonna show me on traffic stop. It's one of 10 11. This guy's a traffic stop. Dispatch, can I get a 1028? It's gonna be a 62 Frank Lincoln Williams 734. So a 1028 is a plate check. Target vehicle license plate. Now, everything that's going on right now is automatically going into your Compulite, right? Copy that. So if we hold down our X key and go into our Compulite, this vehicle is already going to be in here, right? All right, so view vehicle owner. So this is the guy driving here. He's our vehicle owner. Chawan Cage, whatever kind of name that is. Um, he's not been on probation. He's had two citations for some minor stuff. Uh, nothing major. Um, now, we're going to get him out because I'm going to show you how the uh, drug part of this works through Stop the Pets. So hopefully he's got some stuff on him. Now, you'll also notice when you pull your flashlight up, it's a lot different than the vanilla, right? It's a lot brighter and a lot bolder. That is your Stop the Pet flashlight, okay? And he's revving his engine. And he's going to run. He's going to run. All right, so turn your spotlight off, guys. Hit left control S. Now, we're going to hit left shift H to call it air unit for this guy. And we're going to go into a pursuit. And I'm going to show you guys how to do a pursuit through grammar police. Dispatch requesting backup. We're going to be headed down 3045 uh, West Route 68. We're going to take primary. You can activate your dash cam at this time, guys, by hitting the V on your keyboard. So we're going to take primary on this pursuit. There's their pursuit right there, guys. We're still going to set up our heli assistance. Whoa! Holy cow! All right, now, I'm going to show you how to call for roadblocks and spike strips. So we're going to get spike strips first. Dispatch requesting spike strips. Now, they're not always going to be on the right side of the road, so just keep that in mind, guys, that these mods don't always work. Okay, so they got it this time. There it is. He hit the spike. He hit the spike. All right, we got him. Now, if you want to get him out, stop the pet style. Hit E twice on the keyboard around your D-pad twice like this. He's going to then get on his knees and put his hands behind his head. On your knees, man. On your knees. This is through stop the pad. You can also do like this, guys. Dispatch, stop traffic. A yellow circle is going to pop up. It's going to stop traffic, guys. You're going to walk up behind him. You're going to hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad. You're going to hit a rest pad. That's going to put him in cuffs. All right, now I'm going to do a full traffic stop here for you, a full crime scene. So once he's like this, hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad. You're going to go to grab and click on that, okay? You're then going to grab the pad. Now, you can put him in the back seat of your car, the front seat of your car, or the back seat of the police officer's car, okay? As long as they're on scene with you. So I'm going to set, we're actually going to do this. So if you want to release him, hit E on the keyboard or right on the D-pad and click release grab pad. Now, again, if you want to search him, you can hit F9 or hit right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard and go down to search uh, pedestrian, wherever it's at, pat down right here. Now, you can do it, or you can have your buddy do it. I'm going to have my buddy do it just for the sake of this tutorial. All right? So, he's going to pat him down for me. All right. 3D printed pistol and concealed carry holster, a lighter and a pen, Advil, and a postcard of Los Venturas. So, he don't really have anything on him as far as contraband goes. But we are going to search his car. So, I'm going to walk up to his car. Now, there's two ways you can do this. By hitting the F9 on the keyboard or hit G on the keyboard. G is in Gary. And scroll down to click search vehicle, okay? He'll then open the vehicle up, and he'll then search it. All right, so he had nothing. Now, if you want to call for a tow truck, again, you can hit G on the keyboard and go to re go down to request tow, and then pick whichever tow truck you want, or you can do it like this. Dispatch, send me a 1051. And then select your tow truck. A tow truck in 10 codes is 1051. All right, so now we're going to have him transported to jail, which I'm going to have this officer take him. Dispatch requesting transport. And then we'll transport another suspect where I show you I take him in by myself. All right, so remember the setting we set our I off out, guys, where we had the nearest cop pick up the suspect? That's what that is right there. Now, he's going to take him to jail. 
All right, now once you're clear, you can go like this. Dispatch, show me code four. That will clear your traffic and clear your call. Code four, no additional support needed. All right, so let's get on out of here. All right, now, um, keep the door open is pretty self-explanatory. If you just tap the key and get out, he'll close the door back. However, when you get out of the car, if you hold down the key to get out, which is F on the keyboard, or you click your left thumbstick, he will keep the door open as he gets out. See that? And your gun comes out as well. That's fast draw. All right, so let me show you again. Make sure your gun is equipped. You get out, hold the key down. Your gun is equipped. You're good to go. That's keep the door open and uh, fast draw, okay? We're going to get back in. And sometimes your chopper will crash. I don't know why he crashes, but he does. That's why that plug-in needs to be updated desperately. But if you're watching this, man, the guy does that plug-in, please update your plug-in, man, so we can use it and it works properly. Um, okay, uh, let's do... Um, Let's pull somebody else over here because I got to show you the narcotics field test and stop the pad. Dispatch, show me 1042. So we're going to go out of service so we don't receive any calls, guys, okay? So let's, let's make a traffic stop here. And when your map gets big from a call, guys, your stuff will overlap. But once the map goes back down to size, um, it, it'll, your stuff will go back to normal. Like your postal and all that's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and pull this guy over. All right, I'm going to show you how Stop the Pet works uh, with drugs and all that. Hopefully, this guy's got some stuff on him uh, where I can show you that. All right, and he's going to now that's part of riskier traffic stops out there, then backing into you. And he's going to run. I don't want another pursuit, guys. Let me just terminate that. Now, for those who have the new version of LSPFR, installed it was updated about a week ago or so uh those are the new cop cars for uh that comes with those people they're actually pretty sick they're actually pretty dope i like those all right let's go ahead and make a u-turn here and we're gonna we're gonna initiate a traffic stop on this car right here hopefully i didn't set the probability too high and risk your traffic stops hopefully somebody will actually just pull over all right now i'm gonna get him off the road left control w and we're going to take this up. Now, if your red circle tends to get a little low on the ground, you can hit nine to bring it up like that and three to bring it down, okay? Just keep that in mind. We're going to make him pull over in the dirt right here. All right, again, your spotlight is going to be left control S. S is in Sam. And you're just going to operate with your numpad or your thumbstick, okay? And I will try to remember to put those INI files either in my Discord or in the pinned comments. Guys, I'll probably put it in the Discord. It'll be better in there. All right, we're going to leave it right there. And we are just going to go ahead and get him out of the car. And the way you get him out is you're going to... Whoa! And he shot me. That is deadly weapons, guys. That's how quick you can die with deadly weapons right there that's how quick it can happen you got to be careful when you walk up in the cars i was not cautious at all but he pulled a gun out and got me really fast all right let's get our car again let's get our car again here yeah he got me good i don't think i had armor on if i'd have had armor on i don't think it would have done that remember you can always clean your character up by going to your simple trainer options and then clean player clothes and max armor and health is right there all right let's go ahead and get our vehicle back And let me adjust the time here real quick, guys and girls. Let's go back down to nighttime. I like the nighttime on this game. It looks really good. All right, let's, let's conduct another traffic stop. But that guy pulling a gun out, that's part of riskier traffic stops, guys. Now, you can lower your probability or you can raise it. It's up to you. Uh, as you can see, we set ours to, to 30. Let's go ahead and initiate a traffic stop on this guy right here. Shit. And I'm going to try to... Nope, he's going to go into Suspects a pursuit. In the car. In pursuit. I'm just gonna cancel it, guys. We'll pull this guy over, and they're gonna they're gonna shoot. They're gonna shoot. Now, if you get shot at, you go like this: dispatch, shots fired, shots fired. It'll set up a panic tone. You gotta get in cover, guys. Make sure you're in cover. The best thing to do is blind is blind fire. 
That's the best thing to do is blind fire. Ocean one in route. Copy, this is and now this guy's going to shoot. Adam four, copy. I'm reloading. All right, now if you want to dismiss all them units, just hold down the enter key. Oh, somebody's shooting, somebody's shooting from the other side. Now, another little trick I want to show you guys. First of all, if you want to dismiss all these units, hold down the enter key, and they'll all take off. Another little trick you guys need to know, too, is a lot of people may not know this, but if you're at the back of your car, the front of your car, and you want to crawl around without having to stand up, and you're on controller, just hit the X button, and he'll crawl right around just like that. See? That keeps you from having to raise up and take a chance on getting shot, right? I'm not sure how to do it on keyboard and now, mouse. Now, you guys have noticed it's much more colorful now. Now, if I hit the D, and the way I pulled that up, guys, was the 7 on the numpad, the 7 key. If you hit the D, it turns on your ALP, or a lot of you hit the D, it turns it off. So if you ever hear that dinging sound, just hit the D key to turn it off for you, okay? So let's conduct another traffic stop here, and I'm going to try to get it right for you guys. I, I might have set the probability a little bit too high. Left shift. Light him up. Man, please don't run, bro. Please don't run. Just pull over so I can show these folks how Stop the Peb works. All right. Left control W. Eight to take it up. Six to go right. Enter to pull him over. And when you pull in behind somebody, guys, you always want to kind of pull to the right just in case they were to pull a gun. Left, left control S for spotlight. All right, this time we're going to walk around this side of the car and we're going to get a gun drawn just to get ready. Just in case something happens. All right, so it looks like this guy's going to be cordial. Let's walk around the other side of the car here. Now, when you walk up to the car to conduct a traffic stop, you're going to hit right on the D-pad or E on the keyboard to bring up your stop the pad menu. Now, you can ask for all documents, driver's license or all documents. You can ask for registration, insurance. <coughs> the best thing you can do is ask for all documents. Get bump. And I do have tutorials on how to replace that Kiflom, guys. I know it's annoying. Thanks. All right. And that tells you his DOB, his expiration on his license, uh, his vehicle registration, if it's good, uh, the insurance and all that good stuff. And then you can go, dispatch, I need a 1027. And that's going to give you a pedestrian check on this guy right here. All right. Now, if you hit the E on your keyboard around the D-pad, you can then uh, question the driver right here. Uh, you can do a breathalyzer test where he's sitting inside the vehicle. Uh, you can order him to leave. You can dismiss him with a warning or let him go. Uh, we are going to ask him to get out of the vehicle. All right, now sometimes they'll refuse to get out. Now, once they get out, guys, to detain them, you want to hit E on the keyboard twice or right on the D-pad twice like Wait so. Up. And he's going to holler like that. Then you're going to walk up. You're going to hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad. It'll prompt you there in the corner to tell you what to hit. And then you're going to go to an arrest pad, and you're, you're going to click on that, and it's going to detain him, okay? There's a lot. We'll stop the pen on the back, guys. There's a lot to those mods, man. It's going to take a while to explain them. Just bear with me, everyone. All right, now we're going to grab him, and we're going to bring him over here. And to quick search him, we're going to hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad to let him go. And then we're going to hit F9 to quick search him, okay? And then you're now going to pat him down. All right, so he's got a revolver. Uh, he's got uh, one color blotted paper, so that is contraband right there. We're going to go ahead. We're going to grab him and put him in the back of the police car to show you guys how this works, okay? So he's probably going to jail. I'll take him into jail myself to show you guys how that works. Now, if we release him, okay, and we want to quick, quick grab him without using the menu, we can hit left control T, and that will quick grab him. Left control T, T is in Tom. If you hit it again, it'll let him go, okay? So just keep that in mind, all right? Now we're going to take it to the back of the car, and you're going to put put into the vehicle rear seat. All right? Now, if you come up with that clipboard in your hand, guys, you can just hit left control T, and he should drop it. Yeah. All right, then you're going to close the door. That's going to put him in there. That will give you an opportunity to either call for backup or go up and hit F9 to search the vehicle. All right? And he's also got... Um, He's also got contraband in there. Now, if you want to test the drugs, through Stop the Bed, you're going to go to the back of your police car, whichever one you're using. You're going to hit the G on the keyboard. 
You're going to go down to evidence check and select narcotics field test. There's a weapon serial check and a narcotics field test. You want the narcotics field test, okay? He's going to open the trunk. He's going to bring up some options you can pick from. All right, so this is everything he had on. Now, we're not going to test everything, but I will test the pipe with the brown powder because I think it's probably either uh, it's either heroin or it's, or it's marijuana. So we'll test for marijuana and see if that's it. It's not marijuana. So let's test for heroin. Maybe it's heroin. Usually heroin is brown. It is heroin. It is heroin. So that's how you do the, the regions test. Now, some of these won't be available. The only ones that they could possibly be will be highlighted in white. These, you see, I cannot click on. I can click on fentanyl, PCP, uh, test kit for methamphetamine, heroin, cocaine. Now, if we go to different ones, we'll be able to pick different things, right? So let me go to this. Those are still not highlighted. And see, only two are highlighted here, so it could be one of the two. So what was that? Blotted paper, so... It's probably fentanyl. It's probably fentanyl. It's probably what it is. It is fentanyl, okay? So, and as you pull over more people, you'll see that you have more options to pick from. So that's kind of how that works. Um, and then if you want to get him out of the car from where he's at, you'll walk up and hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad, and your guy will walk back, and then he will then get out of the car. And then you will then turn to him, and you will say, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you've got an afford attorney, you want to be appointed by the state. Do you understand your rights? And at this time, you can then call transport for him, or you can have him arrested. Or you can take him in yourself, I mean. So I'm going to take him in myself. I'm going to grab him again. And I'm putting him back in the back of my police car. I'm put, put in rear seat of vehicle. He's going to hop back in the back. I'm going to close the door. I'm gonna get his vehicle towed and we're gonna take him down to the station. Dispatch, send me at 1051. I'm gonna be at 2048 East Joshua Road, southbound. All right, select your tow truck. And I'll let you guys watch the tow truck come in. Once you get back in the car, hit left control S to deactivate your spotlight. And there comes the tow truck. Now you can hit the zero on your keypad to waypoint to the jail if you want to, right? Just hit it real quick. Or you can go like this. Dispatch, show me returning to the station. And it will set a purple waypoint for you. There's a tow truck right there, guys. There it is. All right, so we're going to head back to the station. Let me get these vehicles out of my way. I'm only running code 2 just for the sake of this video, guys. All right, so there's two ways you can take this guy to jail. You can either do it vanilla style. Or you can do it through Stop the Pet. I recommend Stop the Pet. It's way better. And I'll show you how you tell the difference, okay? So, um, your vanilla style to take him to jail is going to be a blue circle, okay? Your Stop the Pet style to take him to jail is going to be a yellow circle, all right? So, there's your yellow circle for Stop the Pet. And your blue circle is usually around the front. Nope, there's a yellow circle. I don't even see a blue circle anymore. Maybe they took it out. Maybe they just took it out of the game. They might have. I don't know. Anyway, pull in the yellow circle. And you're going to get these options right here. Escort by yourself, pat the suspect over to another cop, or cancel. We're going to escort the suspect by ourselves, okay? Now, when you get behind him, you're going to hit left control T. All right? Now, that's going to put the clipboard in your hand, so just keep that in mind, all right? Let me drop that... Let me drop that clipboard. Let me back. Okay, now we got it. So the best way to do it is hit G and um, let's see. No, hit E. I'm sorry. Hit E and grab the suspect. And we can go, but you can go back and change that key bind, guys, of the clipboard. You can change it like uh, left control C or something like that. That way it's not conflicting with when you're quick grabbing the pad. And I'll, I'll um, yeah, you guys just go back and change this. So you're going to take him in one of these cells. Doesn't matter which one. And then when you get him in here, you're going to hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad to release him. You're then going to go down to release handcuffs, but put it on stay so he stays in the jail cell. All right? And then after you unhandcuff him, you can then ask him to have a seat on the ground. All right, he'll sit right there. And then you can role play a little bit and go in here and say, Dano, I got one to sell one for um, possession of contraband, possession of drugs. Uh, be good to him and treat him right. He seems like a good guy. 
Something of that nature, guys. You can role play it out. You know what I mean? All right, man. Stay cool, brother. Talk to Jesus while you're in here. All right, guys. So we're, once you go back out, you're going to see this yellow circle. And you will just walk up to that, and it will take you right back outside. Um, I do want to show you guys how to take down a ped, uh, a ped stop the ped style. Um, so if you guys remember me saying earlier in the video, when you take down a ped with, at gunpoint, you're going to point your gun and hit E on the keyboard twice or right on the D-pad twice, right? So that's what we're going to do right here. Stop! Police! So I hit my e, my D-pad right a few times with my E on my keyboard. She's going to get on her knees. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to arrest her. I'm going to hit D-pad right or E on the keyboard. I'm going to hit arrest pad. You ain't never getting out of prison. All right. Now, you can still do this without holding your gun at someone, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do it, all right? So I'm going to take her out here. I'm going to hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad and release them. Now, for her, I'm not going to point my gun. I'm just going to walk up. I'm going to hit E on the keyboard twice around the D-pad. Wow! Hold up! She's going to get up. You're going to hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad. And you can then ask for identification, driver's license, hunting license, fishing license, ID card, request, check the dispatch like this. And E pulls up that menu every time, guys. You can question her, pat her down, field sobriety test, uh, breathalyzer test, drug swab. You can request her. You can request an escort vehicle. You can get a taxi for an Uber or an Uber ride. Uh, the Uber rides are hilarious because they usually come on scooters. Uh, you can dismiss her on foot or to a driver's seat or a passenger seat. You can arrest her. Um, you can drug swab her. There's all kinds of stuff in here you can go through, guys. So we're going to start with a little question menu here. Uh, I'm just going to ask her, what are you doing over here? She's going to say, why do you care? Um, where are you coming from? From my friend's home. Where are you headed to? Go to my friend's home. So if you want like DUI questions, like if they've been drinking, you can ask them here. Uh, when was the last time you had a drink? Just an hour ago. Vehicle questions. Do you own the vehicle? Registration. Insurance. Uh, there's your narcotic questions about drugs. Uh, weapons questions about weapons. I mean, it's all here, guys. You just got to go through it and kind of memorize it yourself. You ask them if they live in the neighborhood. She lives up north. Ask her if she has a warrant. She don't know. Um, does she have any drugs on her? Or she have any drugs lately? Do you have anything illegal on you? Nothing illegal on me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to conduct a search. We're going to hit F9. She's going to turn around. We're going to search her and find out if she's telling the truth. I highly doubt it. This is Sandy Shores. They usually got drugs on them. Oh, she was telling the truth. All right. And then you can, at this point, you can, you know, let her go on foot. Go on. Got any pills? All right. And then and she just asked me for pills. Bro, that's not cool. Ah, damn. That's not cool. Now, restrain the deceased. When someone is down, you can hit H to ignore it or hit D-pad right. Or the key bind we showed in the INI file, which was left shift E, right? What that will detain the suspect. They act a little weird, but it still detains them as they're knocked out. Again, I'll show you with this lady right she here. Was. All right? Now, if you use a controller, you hit D-pad right. That will detain them, okay, while they're down. This means that if they're knocked out or even shot, okay? Now, if someone's down and you want to call for medical, you're going to go like this. Dispatch requesting medical. Dispatch requesting medical. Ambulance. Assistance required in Sandy Shores. All right, so medical's going to show up and treat them. And I'm going to kind of show you how that works. I'm going to get in the car here. I'm going to turn my lights on. And we're going to pull out and kind of, so to speak, block the traffic here. All right, there comes the ambulance. And we're going to do like this. Dispatch, stop traffic. Jeez. So the ambulance comes in and treats them. We're going to get that guy right there. They'd probably be a perfect example. Where'd he go? Right here. They're probably going to run. They're driving crazy, man. She just ran a stop sign. Now... If you want to point someone out as a pursuit ped, uh, a pursuit target, without having to initiate a traffic stop, you are going to simply point your gun at them, at their vehicle or at a pedestrian, and you're going to hit T on the keyboard a few times or up on the D-pad a few times, like so. If I can get my gun on her. Damn. 
like that, it initiates a pursuit just like that, okay? Now I'm going to cancel it. Alright. Now, I think that is pretty much it for... Okay, I need to show you the weapon system on Stop the Pad. Now, remember, every time we come into the game, we go to Simple Trainer and we go to Weapons. We go to Weapons, Load Save Menu, and we load all of our weapons, correct? And then when we open up our weapon wheel, all these weapons are here. However, when you use the realistic weapon system through Stop the Pad, those weapons are going to disappear. But always load your weapons first because... <coughs> Realistic weapons, uh, the realistic weapon system through Stop the Pet does not offer a flashlight. So make sure you load your weapons first because the flashlight is the only thing that doesn't disappear. Now if you hit the G key on your keyboard and you go down to enable realistic weapon system and hit enter, and then you pull up your weapon wheel, you will notice that all your weapons are gone except for a pistol and a taser, your nightstick, and your flashlight, okay? Your realistic weapon system does not offer a nightstick or a flashlight. I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't. I don't think it offers a nightstick. Now, when you are using the realistic weapon system, okay, just for the sake of this, we are going to disable. Oh, unlimited ammo is disabled. Okay. So, if you want to replenish, say, like your armor or your health or your or, or your ammo, you're going to go to the back of the car, hit G, and you can then grab a rifle. You can replenish your ammo and armor right here, okay? All right, so he just replenished his armor. We're going to go ahead and stop traffic here, guys, because there's something else I need to show you. Dispatch, stop traffic. Attention all units. All right. Officer requesting traffic now, if you go back to the back of the car the and hit G on the keyboard, G is in Gary, you can then grab a rifle. You can grab a shotgun. Uh, once you grab those and you're done with them, you can also put them back by doing the same thing. You can grab traffic cones or a fire extinguisher, okay? Um... <coughs> Through this menu, you can also stop traffic, slow down traffic, or disable the realistic weapon system. Now, if we go to dra grab traffic cones, okay? We're going to grab the traffic cones. All right, we're going to walk out here. And I'm just going to put a few down uh, just for the just for the, the, the time's sake. We're going to hit G on the keyboard, and you're going to click on deploy traffic cone. All right? He's going to put one down there. Then you can walk a little bit more, and you can put another one. Sometimes that menu will go off. You'll have to pull it back up by hitting the G key. We're going to put another one right here. All right. Now, see how the menu went off? We're going to hit G. We're going to put another one right here. And then we're going to do one more right here, okay? Right there. They're kind of crooked, but not a big deal. Now, uh, you can leave those there. I didn't mean to put one there. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Now, we can, we're going to go back to um, the, the, tra the trunk of the car, and we're going to hit G, and we are going to store the traffic cones in here. Now, I don't know what makes the ones on the road disappear. I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. All right? So, the ones on the road stay there. Now, if you want to remove these, you can walk up to them, hit the G key, and you can do it like this. Go to remove traffic cones. You can do nearest only or all cones. If I want to remove the nearest one, I'll go like this. It'll remove that one. If I want to remove them all, hit the G key. I'll go to remove all cones, click it, and it removes all the cones. Okay? Now, let me see if there's anything else I need to show you. Um, so, we are going to grab a rifle. Now, you can do this on the back of your car or the side of your car. Either way you want to do it. I'm going to go to the side of the car to make it a little bit more realistic. Hit the G key. I'm going to grab my rifle out of the car. He's going to reach in. He's going to grab his rifle. Now, it comes out with a flashlight modification and a scope on it. Okay? So, if you're saying something like first person, you go like that. You'll have a scope, right? You'll have a scope. We're going to hold down enter to dismiss that backup. All right. Now, if you want to put your rifle back, you walk back up. G key. Store rifle. He will then put his rifle back in the car. Do the same exact thing with the shotgun, guys. You can grab the shotgun out of there like this. He's going to grab the shotgun. That also comes with a flashlight modification, but no scope, okay? Now, when you want to put it back, you're going to walk back up. You're going to put store shotgun, okay? Now, if you want all your weapons to be back in your weapon wheel through your simple trainer, like I showed you at the beginning of the video, uh, you're going to hit the G on the keyboard. You're going to go down and disable the realistic weapon system just like so. All right, now you'll have to load your weapons back up through simple trainer by going to F3, go to weapons, and then make sure unlimited ammo is also enabled. Uh, go to weapons, load save menu, because if you're using a fire extinguisher, 
your fire shooter's gonna run out if that's not enabled, okay? Weapons load save menu, and load all weapons to slot one, and then all your weapons will be back, as you can see, okay? All right? And I think that is it for stop the pad. Um, let's do let's do ambient effects. So for this, I need an explosive device. So I'm gonna go to weapons. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna grab an RPG, and I'm gonna grab a grenade launcher, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna blow this truck. I'm gonna show you what ambient effects looks like. Okay, so if we had this as vanilla, you guys know what vanilla explosions look like, then you know that the fire and the smoke in this is way more realistic with ambient effects, okay? Now let's try the RPG. See that, how the explosions are way more realistic? It's just a lot better, guys. It's, it's way better. Is that cop on fire? He's about to be. All right, so there's that. Now, if you want to get rid of that stuff, guys, just go back to weapons, weapons load, save menu, and load on weapons slot one, and it'll get rid of those explosives out there and load your regular weapons back. All right. Um, what else we got here? We talked about riskier traffic stops. The thing about riskier traffic stops, it just, uh, depending on how your traffic stop goes is how it goes. So sometimes you're going to pull somebody over, they're going to run. Sometimes they're going to pull a gun like you guys seen. Sometimes they're going to get out and argue with you and confrontate. Dispatch clear traffic. Attention all units. Traffic control. All right. So we pull this guy over. Now see how he's shooting? That's riskier traffic stops right there. All right. And it's going to go into a pursuit. And then you would then chase him. And we're going to get an air unit on him. Dispatch requesting backup. Now that's going to send a backup unit for you, okay? Backup needed. And the Alamo C. Now, if you want to do stuff like request a... I didn't show you how to request a roadblock, right? So if you want to request a roadblock, you're going to do it like you did with spike strips. You're going to go like this. Dispatch requesting roadblock. Alright, so now they're not always going to be on the same side of the road. But there they are, right there. They, they got it this time. Alright. We're going to get out. We're going to draw our gun. He's got a gun. Put the gun down, man. Get on your knees, brother. Get on your knees. Hello. Now that was done through Stop the Peg, guys. When I got out, I pointed my gun. You're under arrest, you can hit you right on the D-pad twice or E on the keyboard twice, then that will put him in arrest mode. All right, and then you just have him transported either by Grammar Police, or you can do it like this right here through your menu. And then the nearest cop will take him in. All right, I think that's it for Stop the Ped, guys and girls. Whoa, what was that? What was that all about? Um, we talked about restraining the deceased. Before we go to ultimate backup, guys, because that is a long one. That takes a while to explain. Um, again, dash cam V, guys. If you hit V on the keyboard to change your view, it'll take you right to your dash cam. So you would have to hit it one, two, three, four times. And then that's also select button on the controller. So in other words, your back button on your controller. All right, so uh, let's talk about let's talk about bait car. All right, and this is why I usually like to do bait car, and we're gonna add a little bit of sunlight so that we can see a little better here. All right, we'll do about like that right there, and we're gonna pull around and we're gonna we're gonna discuss the bait car mod here. All right, so let's talk about bait car, guys. To pull up your bait car menu, you're gonna hit F11 on the keyboard. And these are the vehicles that you can select from right here. You can select any vehicle that you want, okay? Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to select the Blista. You have a kill switch in the menu. However, you also have a kill switch on your keyboard, which is the insert key. So when the, when the suspect takes off in the bait car, you can hit the insert key, and it will kill the vehicle, and it will shut it down. Um, so we're going to hit confirm selection, and you will see a little light blue blip pop up on the map and that is going to be the guy bringing the bait car around to you all right there it comes and then once you get the bait car it has to be parked a certain distance away from your vehicle um, or it will not work okay so it has to be a certain distance so once he drops it here all right we're gonna pick this up and it will show you the distance you need to be and I'll show you what I mean by that so we're gonna park the bait car right here in this parking lot okay i love to run the bait car here because i get a lot of hits over in this area 
So we're going to park that bait car uh, about right here. All right. We're going to hop out. It will show a green circle. You need to be outside that green circle before the bait car plug-in takes effect, okay? So we're going to run outside that circle, and we're just going to go sit in our car. Once the green circle disappears, you know it's good. We're going to sit in our car, and we're going to observe. And at this point, if you want to make it a little more realistic, guys, you can go into your dash cam, and you can see what's going on. All right, and we're going to sit here, and we're going to wait for someone to take that bait. And someone will take it, guys. Someone always takes the bait over here. Um, I'll probably edit the video forward uh, to when someone actually uh, gets the car. But they'll usually, you'll usually see them, like, walk around the car maybe once or twice. They might stop and look at it. And then they'll actually get in the car and take off in it. And it will either automatically be a pursuit or they will tell you to follow the car and initiate a traffic stop is what they'll usually tell you to do. All right, so it looks like we got a suspect right here coming up in a green shirt, blue jeans. Actually, two people. There's two people coming up that's going to take the bait car. So he's in the car. There he goes. He's getting in the car. Says, follow the vehicle. Do not initiate a traffic stop yet, all right? So we're going to follow the car. Now, it's best to do this in an unmarked vehicle, obviously. They obviously know I'm a cop. And then it will tell you when to pull the car over. So we're going to follow this vehicle. All right, so now we need to pull them over. So we're going to light them up. Now, hopefully they run so I can show you how the kill switch works. And usually, they'll either run when you initiate the traffic stop or they'll run after you pull them over. But we shall see. And if they do, I'm going to show you how the kill switch works. All right. That's your spotlight. Really don't need it because it's daytime. So we're going to hop out. I got a feeling they're probably going to run or they're going to pull a gun on me. So we're going to walk up to this side. And they're not going to run. Actually, we're going to do it like this. Let me let me make them run. Get this asshole. All right, I'm going to make them run. And since they're in the bait car, are located in pursuit. Now, once they get so far, you can kill the vehicle wherever you want. I don't know why he's not running. There. Gotcha. Anyway, hit the insert key and you see the vehicle shuts down. We can then get out. All units, suspect spotted westbound Dolina. We're going to get him out of the car. On your knees, man, on your knees. All units, remain on alert. Now, you can also put him in takedown mode vanilla style if you want him to get on their, on their stomach. You would, uh, instead of tapping the E a couple of times or the D-pad right, you would just hold those keys like this. And that puts them in takedown mode, and they will then get on their stomach, just like so. You walk up, you hold E on the keyboard around the D-pad to arrest him. Why is it arresting both of them? I thought the other cop got him. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how bait car works. Uh, we'll get them. What the heck happened, bro? All right. Dispatch requesting transport. All right, so we're gonna get him hauled out of here. Now, if you want to reuse the same car, you just get back in it, hit F11, and click reuse last vehicle, okay? Uh, if you're done using bait car, then you can just pull it over here and just leave it, or you can have it towed. It's completely up to you. Uh, but that's how the bait car mod works, guys. It's actually a pretty cool, um, it's actually a pretty cool mod. I, I dig it. Um, I've actually done some bait car live streams before or videos, and they're really cool. I, I like the way they turn out. Um, so that's the bait car mod. Um, In-game screenshot is a very interesting plug-in. Um, if you hit the K on your keyboard, all right, and then it will show you down there how to operate it. So W goes up, S goes back, A goes left, D goes right, um, R will reset it. You can also um, you can also roll the camera like this. Um, you can talk. You can toggle slow motion on and off like this with your G key. You can pause it like this. Um, you can hide the HUD like that. Now your HUD there is still going to be up, and if you got some kind of magic wand with Paint 3D or Paint.net, you can remove that, or you can just go into your uh, call out interface, camera police, and disable it that way. You know what I mean? 
But this will go out and up as far as you absolutely want it to. This in-game screenshot is absolutely amazing. And you can get some really good screenshots. Like, for example, this plane right here, right? Let's go ahead. Well, we can't pause it. we got to be able to move. But if we go over to this plane, he's slowly moving right now, right? He's in slow motion. But if we go like this and say we want to pause it right there and get a screenshot of that. All right, just make sure your other stuff is off the screen. you got to deactivate it by your other mods like Call Out Interface, Grammar Police, Simple HUD. You would just deactivate that stuff by going to those mods and, and disabling them. Uh, and right here, you got a good screenshot of a good thumbnail, you know what I mean? Now, once you go back out, you can hit uh, the space bar to pause it like that, and then R will reset your camera, and then if you hit K, it'll go back to your character. K initiates it and uh, uh, disables it. So that's kind of how the in-game screenshot works. Um, okay, let's talk about heli assistance, guys. Um, if you hit left control H, all right, let's actually um, go to nighttime for this. And we're going to go over to the um, airfield uh, so I can show you exactly how this uh, helicopter spotlight works because you can change the color of it. Let's go over to the airfield. Let's hop out of the car. Hit left control H. And right here, you're going to request a cl uh, the heli to come by you for the destination marker you set. Traffic stop, pursuit, player location, waypoint, closest suspect, player vehicle, or player. Uh, these are your main settings. You probably don't want to bother these. Now, if you want to change the banner color, you can do that by this right here. I usually change mine to cyan. I just love the cyan color. Um, so let me find uh, cyan. <coughs> probably going the wrong way. Now, if you hold it down, it'll go a little faster for you. All right, so... Let me find the cyan. You can change this to any color that you want, anything you want. There's cyan right there. Uh, there you can change your heli name, change your player name in the game. Uh, you go back, go to flight behavior settings. I wouldn't mess with this, guys. I would leave it alone. Uh, radar settings. Uh, this changes the blip of the heli. So if you want it to be green on the map, it'll be green. Um, again, I changed mine to cyan. You can change it to whatever you want, and that's the color the blip that the heli will show up as on your mini map, okay? Um, I'm going to change mine to cyan because that's the color I like. Um, I would leave these enabled. Uh, feature settings. Uh, if you go to searchlight settings, uh, this is the color of your um, of your heli assistance light, right? Your spotlight. So if, um, if I hit left shift H, it's going to call in the heli. We're going to hit left control H and pull that menu back up. We're going to go to feature settings. We're going to go to searchlight settings, and once that chopper gets over us, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the spotlight. Now, this stuff down our outer angle, inner angle, intensity of the light, you can mess with that, and you can make this light as bright as you possibly want, um, as dim as you possibly want. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. It's not really moving for me, so maybe you can't really mess this up. I don't know. If you guys mess with it, maybe you can test it out. Uh, but if you go here and go to color and start hitting your arrows, you'll notice it changes the colors of the spotlight. Um, the LED still happens to be my favorite. I do like that one. That one looks really nice. Um, and then you've got some brighter lights, some darker color lights. You can change it to anything that you want, guys. I personally like the LED because it shines really bright and it looks way more realistic. Um, but you can do whatever your heart desires on here. Um, once you're done, you're going to backspace out, backspace out. Uh, there's no way... Um, to when Justice One is targeting the player. Okay. So, left, control, A. So, to enter observer mode, you have to, I think, be in a pursuit, I believe. Let me go to pursuit and then enter observer mode. Yeah, we got to be in an actual pursuit for that. I think that takes you up in the chopper. Um, I haven't really messed with that too much, but once you're done guys you can backspace out and hit left shift H to dismiss that chopper All right, and then he'll he'll then go back to base uh, What's up next? Let's see um, Radio realism for real and radio realism alpha. So when we call a dispatch you hear all those beeps and those tones That's radio realism for real and radio realism radio realism alpha together. So if I go one atom to dispatch Dispatch, show me 1041 tonight. 
You're going to hear all these beeps and tones, all that stuff. That's all Radio Realism Alpha. And when we're in a pursuit and you hear all them call-outs being made about the vehicles going this speed and that speed on this road, that's Radio Realism first response. Uh, now, I think I said for real, I meant first response. So, uh, for example, if I go out and I get in a pursuit, which we've already done that, so I showed you that, guys. Um, Sticky wheels is pretty self-explanatory. If you turn your wheels to the left or the right and get out of your vehicle, they will stick. Or even when you're in the vehicle, they stick. Now, they made this mod specifically for the reason that when cops pull people over in, li in real life, they will pull up behind them and turn their wheels towards the traffic. So if that cop was to get hit in the rear end by the other vehicle, it would get pushed out of the traffic instead of the vehicle in front of them. That's why we have sticky wheels. Um, we did stop the pad. Let's go over Alton Backup. This is going to be a pretty long one. So Alton Backup, the key for that is going to be... Attention all units. We've got an SOS distress signal. Dispatch, show me 1042. For possible terrorist activity. Dispatch units from uh, Fort Zancudo. Use of deadly force authorized. Now, if you want to accept a call, you can hit Y on the keyboard, left the D-pad, or you can go to Grammar Police, hold the key, and say, Dispatch, show me en route. Dispatch, show me responding code 2. Dispatch, show me responding code 3. And it will route you to that call, okay? Now, ultimate backup, hit the U on your keyboard. U as in union. It's going to bring up your ultimate backup. Now, this is for your backup, obviously, your code 2 backup, then your code 3 backup. So this is going to be for, like, your local patrol, your state patrol, your SWAT, your news, your ambulance, fire department, a first responder medic, first responder fire, air ambulance, air SWAT backup. Uh, if we go over to partner, this is how you spawn your partners. Now, I don't never use the spawn UB cop. What I like to do is I like to go down spawn partner with player outfits. So whatever you're wearing, they're going to be wearing what you're wearing, right? Now, you can recruit, recruit the nearest ped. You can find a random ped and recruit them as a partner and have a ride along. You could do that. All right, so I'm gonna spawn a partner with my with my clothes on, but what I wanna do is go down to handgun selection and long gun selection and make sure both of those are set to copy from player so they're carrying the same weapons that you're carrying, okay? Uh, you can also spawn them in a vehicle if you like. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. We're gonna spawn partner with player outfits, hey. all right? There's our partner right there. Now, he will follow us wherever we go. When we get in the car, it will prompt you to tell you how to get in the vehicle. Either T on the keyboard or D-pad up plus X on the controller. So T, he's going to get in the vehicle. He will have your back no matter what you do. You can have up to three partners in your car. You can have one in the front seat, two in the back seat, okay? He will have your back no matter what. Now, I'm going to dismiss him, all right? He will have your back. When you make traffic stops and you hold somebody at gunpoint, he'll be right there with his gun out, okay? Be right there with his gun out. Now, um, if I want to dismiss him, I'm going to stand in front of him, and it'll tell me right there to hold you or D-pad up to dismiss him. Thanks. All right? It's now going to dismiss him. Now I'm going to show you how to spawn a partner with a vehicle. So hit the U on the keyboard. You want to go over to part K9 partner. I'm sorry, not K9 partner. We'll do that in a minute. Go over to partner. And we want to, this time, before we click spawn player with player outfits, go to the partner's vehicle. And you can do same as player. You can do police B, put him on a bike, a sheriff vehicle, FBI. I'm going to put same as player. I'm going to spawn him, okay? There's his vehicle. Now, when I get in my vehicle, it's going to tell you the same commands. T to put him in or D-pad up, D -pad up plus X. He's going to get in the vehicle. And he is then going to follow you wherever you go. Now, keep in mind, when you are running code 3, he will not go as fast as you go. If you're only running lights and sirens, if you're only running lights, he will run lights and sirens no matter what mode of stage of lights that you're on, okay? I mean, you had to be on stage 3 lighting for him to light up. But if you're on stage 3 lighting with no sirens, he'll still run sirens no matter what, okay? So, we're going to pull out. And just remember, he's not going to go as fast as you go. See that? He's not going to go as fast as you do. If you're in a pursuit, I'm not sure if he goes as fast as you do. We'll see how that works. Let's actually get a pursuit going here. Okay? Y'all hear that ding sound? That's my ALPR, so I turned it off. I hit my D key and turned it off. Oh, I turned my car off accidentally. So is my guy following me? Yeah, he's following me. So we're going to get a pursuit right here. 
I'm going to point this guy out. Again, the way you do this is through stop the pad. You point your gun either the vehicle or the pedestrian. You hit up on the T a few t I mean, up on the D-pad a few times or T on the keyboard a few times like this. Damn! Get this scumbag! All right. Now let's see if he drives as fast as I do in a pursuit. Let's see if he keeps up. Let me see if he goes past me to get the... Alright. Now we're going to get out. We're going to get him out of the vehicle. We're going to get him out. I'm going to point my gun. Now my partner should arrest her if I keep my gun on her. My partner should arrest her. Come on, man. Go in and arrest her. All right, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. It's just the nature of the beast LSPFR. Anyway, we're done with we're done with her. We're done with her. All right, let's get back in the vehicle. And again, if you want to dismiss this guy, you're going to walk up to him. Because he's going to linger around as long as you have him here. You're going to walk up. You're going to hit you on the keyboard. Or hold you on the keyboard or up on your D-pad to let him go. Stand up, bro, so I can release you. All right, let me get him. Let me just get him back in the car. Let's get him back in the car. And I'll have, but to release him, but to release him, you're gonna walk up to him and hold you on the keyboard. You're gonna hold you on the keyboard, or you're gonna hold. I think it's up on the D-pad. So let me get in front of him here. Bro, can you just stand still for five minutes? All right. Appreciate it. And then that's gonna dismiss him. So you're gonna have as many partners as you want in vehicles. I mean, you can you can have like a lot of partners. Um. And you hold enter dismiss any partners or any backup. Um, and then let's go back. And I'm gonna show you how to get a K9 partner. So if you get out of the car, and you can be in the car doing this too, hit you on the keyboard, go over to K9 partner, or go back to partner real quick. And that's how all that works, guys. You can also go in here and dismiss all partners like that. If you hit the you on the keyboard and go to K9 partner, uh, and I do have tutorials on how to replace the K9 with, with an actual K9. Uh, the Rottweiler is the best looking one. The, she the Shepherd don't get that. He looks like a rag doll. Um, just leave it the way it is, everything else, and he hit spawn K9 partner. He's going to be right there. Now, he's going to search pedestrians and vehicles for you. If you want him in the car, you're going to hold left on the D-pad or T on the keyboard. All right? And he's then going to get in the vehicle. He's actually a pretty smart dog. He closed the door all by himself. All right? He's now in the car. All right? We're now going to conduct a traffic stop, and I'm going to show you how it works. We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. We went over literally every plug-in. We're on the last plug-in right now, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys have made it this far, you all are absolutely amazing. I love y'all so much, man. Wish you could pull cops over in the game. Watch out, broski. All right, let's pull this truck over. Let's pull this truck over right here. And I'll get him. Actually, you know what? No. We're going to pull a car over to be a lot easier like that. Let's go up here and get this car right here. Just about hit him. And he's, he's going to run. He's drifting. Get out of the car. Dick. Now I'm going to show you how he searches the car regardless. We're going to do it here. Target reported heading east. On Don't move. On, uh, Route 68. Do not move. You're under arrest, Get your hands behind your back. All right, so we're going to get Does her away from the car, and we're going to bring our canine unit over so he can search the car, and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, you can also make him kneel down by pulling up your stop the pet menu and clicking on kneel down. All them tones you're hearing with the lady talking about the vehicle, where it's going and all that, that's Radio Realism First Response by Officer Porky. All right, so I'm going to back my car up right here. So that, so that we're not, you know, we're not in the road. I'm going to hop out. Now, to get him out, you're going to do the same thing to get him out as you got him in. You're going to hold T on the keyboard or, or left on the D-pad to get him out. Suspect vehicle, heading east. All right, so they're on to somebody else. 
and he's gonna come over here with you now right there press D or D pad left to ask the K9 board to search the vehicle it's exactly what we're gonna do he's gonna do this animation with his hand all right your K9's then gonna go up and search the vehicle we're gonna back up and let him do his job I don't know if he's searching the girl or the, or the car. I think he's searching the car. Let's see. And it'll let you know. If, yeah, he's searching the car. It'll let you know above your mini map if the K9 hit on the vehicle or not. It'll let you know. It will let you know. All right. And in real life, you know, the police officer would stand back and let his dog do his job. He wouldn't sit there and tell him to hit on it constantly. That's not how it goes in real life. You stand back and let the dog do the job itself. You don't hold its color. Okay, so the canine alerted, right? Now, to put him back in the vehicle, you're going to do the same thing. Hold T or left on the D-pad. And he's going to go get back in the vehicle for you. Good boy. All right, so that gives us probable cause to search the vehicle. So we're going to search it. I better find something or I'm going to get rid of that dog. And there he found something. He found ammunition in there in a break, briefcase with 20 quarter ounce bags of blue crystals and a glass bong with what was in that glass bong white powder residue so uh, that's how your canine works you're going to jail get up get up so we're gonna call for transport for her like this dispatch send me a 1016 I'm gonna be at 3046 uh, route 68 westbound they're gonna send a transport over here. And this will actually call a transport since I don't have a backup unit here. I'm gonna go ahead and have her kneel down. They'll search her down at the station. And then we're gonna get the vehicle towed like this. Dispatch, send me a 1051. And remember guys, if you ever forget your 10 codes, if you ever forget any of your 10 codes, you can always go to uh, hit left control F8 and this will bring up all your 10 codes through Grammar Police right here. And if I were you, I would screenshot them, write them down or something. Uh, there's only a few 10 codes you're really gonna use in playing LSPDFR. Um, and it's not very many to be honest about. It. I mean, I know all the 10 codes, but there's only a few that I really use in the game. But like I said, if you ever want to use, uh, if you ever wanna memorize them, hit left control F8 and that will bring up your 10 code menu all right, right so there's there. a couple things I need to go over with you guys about ultimate backup. Um, just a couple other things here. Uh, so I've conducted a traffic stop here, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to call in for traffic stop backup and felony stop backup. So here's the difference. Uh, anytime you call in for felony stop backup, that means that the suspects in the car in front of you have warrants. Somebody has a warrant in that car. Now in this case, none of these guys have warrants. This vehicle is occupied three times. Now when you call for felony stop backup, you're going to have two backup officers come in in which they're going to get out and hold these guys at gunpoint and they're each going to get out of the car now the way that you do this the way you make them get out of the car is once your backup pulls up you will get out of your vehicle or you'll already be out of your vehicle once they pull up you'll have your gun pointed at what suspect you want to get out of the car you will hold your gun on that suspect till they get out walk backwards get on their knees lock their hands behind their head and you continue to hold your gun on that suspect while they're on their knees and that allows the other officer to come up and cuff them. So we're going to do that right now. Dispatch requesting felony stop backup. Backup required. All right, so we're going to get out. And I'm going to hold my gun right here. We're going to wait for the other officer to get here. All right, so there comes the officer right there. I thought it's two officers, but I guess just one. My bad, guys. So he's going to pull up. He's gonna get out of his truck. Copy, All right. Is You're gonna hold your gun on this guy right here. And he's gonna step backwards a few steps. There Copy comes that. the other unit. Right now. He's gonna get on his knees. He's gonna lock his fingers. You're gonna hold your gun on the suspect so the other officer can cuff him, okay? And you do the same thing with the other two suspects in the car once he gets cuffed. Is it going to cuff him or not? No. Nope. On your knees. On your knees. Over, 
And sometimes it takes him. Okay, there he is. Sometimes it takes a minute. All right, he's got him. And now you're going to point at the other suspect here. It might not work with the one in the back seat. Let me point my gun at this guy. Let me get a little bit closer. All right, so he only cuffed the one guy. Police! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! All right, so we're going to use Stop the Pet for this one. So I just tapped E on the keyboard twice around the D-pad to get him out. He's going to get on his knees. Going to lock his fingers. And I don't know that the other officer will come in and cuff him now. But that is how felony stop backup works. And you can just walk up and you would use your stop the pad there to arrest the suspect. You're under arrest, you piece <coughs> of crap. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Right, <clears throat> and you would get the other guy out just the same way. <clears throat> you would get him out with stop the pad. Just make sure you're away from the other suspect, or that menu will pop up. All right, so we're gonna get him out. Stop, police! All right, now he's gonna get out and do the same thing. He's gonna get on his knees. Those are the guys that. What are they doing? So they've got their guns pointed. See, and his truck is flipped sideways for whatever reason. <coughs> And then you would walk up again and just arrest the suspect just like so. Now, you traffic stop backup is prison. different than felony stop. Traffic stop is just there to back you up. They're not going to come up and point their guns or anything like that. They're just there to, to back you up. All right, so let's go ahead and dismiss these cops. And uh, let's call for transport. Assistance required in and when you do this, if you got two suspects detained... <coughs> You got a few options there. You can transport near a suspect, two suspects in a separate vehicle, or two suspects in one vehicle. required in the Alamo Sea. Right, so I'm not sure why his truck is flipped sideways. I'm not sure why it did that. And then at that point, you can conduct your investigation. You can search the vehicle. You can search the pads. Uh, whatever it is that you want to do. And you can do that with your F9 key. And that will search them. I don't know what this guy's doing. All right, so there's that, and then if you want to search the vehicle with the quick with the, with the quick search button, which is F9, make sure you move the suspect away from the car, um, or your guy will search him again. So you can walk up here, and then you can then search the car just like so. All right, there comes uh, one of our other officers to get the suspects, and he's picking him up, and that's pretty much it for that. Dispatch requesting tow truck. And then let's get a tow truck for this vehicle. Flatbed. All right. Required the and then for traffic stop backup, it's the same thing, except they do not. They just they just don't come out with their guns pointed. But they will. The transport will come in and pick up your suspects for you if you want them to, or you can take them to jail yourself, like I showed you before. Um. So for traffic stop backup, if we pull this guy over here. And traffic, I'll show you what traffic stop backup does too, guys. It just, it's just like I said, it's not, um, it's not anything like they don't come in with their guns pointed. It's just regular backup. So let's get him over the side of the road here. We'll put him about right there, and then we'll call for traffic stop backup like so. Dispatch requesting traffic stop backup. Needed in the Alamo C. All right, and you'll see that now. If you want to spawn your backup in a little faster, guys, you can hold down the backspace on your keyboard, and that will that will spawn them. And just hold down for a few seconds, and it'll spawn them in. And this is what your traffic stop backup does. So he just comes in, and he's uh, he's there for your backup. That's this guy's got a gun. Get in your car. Get in your truck. That's part of risk your traffic stops right there. And that's pretty much what traffic stop backup is for. Like I said, if you have an officer here on scene with you, and we'll order this guy out of the vehicle, I'll show you how it works. Um, Wait up. And then we arrest the suspect. You're under arrest, you piece of crap. Instead of calling for regular trans, instead of calling for transport, waiting on the van to get here, your transport van. What you can do is you can call for transport this way, and the nearest officer will take him in. So if I go like this, that officer there will take him in. The Alamo 
<clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. But that is how uh, traffic stop backup and felony stop backup works, guys and girls. Um, let me see, guys. I think that is it. We went over everything. Oh, yeah. Open all interiors. So if you pull up your map, you will now notice that you have all of these little things all over your map. This is open all interiors. Now, if you don't see them for some reason, then exit out and hit the F7 a few times and that and see how it deactivates if I hit it again. If I exit out and hit it again, let me try it again. It's usually the F7 key. And I've deactivated my, um, let me hit it a few times. It's usually, oh, there it was, there it was, F7. So yeah, if you hit the F7 a few times or whatever it is, it'll bring them back up or deactivate them. I would just suggest leaving them on. And I'll show you what one of these do. Um, if you go to one of these interiors, and I'm having you guys install these uh, because, um, you. you know, when you start installing callouts, a lot of the callouts that we have now for LSPFR require open all interiors, and it makes it way more realistic when you have it like that. So if I go to this interior here, anytime you see an open interior, you're going to see a blue marker, right? Let me let me turn them police lights off. Turn the car off. Now, if we walk up this, now sometimes you're going to fall through. Be aware of that, okay? We're going to walk up, hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad, and we're going to walk into the interior. Sometimes you will fall through. But as you can see this one, we are inside the interior, and it just makes it way more cool and way more realistic. That is open all interiors, and as you can see, they, there is 60 of them all over your map. You can go to each one, whichever one you want to do. It's safe to go in them. Just be aware that sometimes you will fall through. You will fall through, so just keep that in mind. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to do it for... Um, this tutorial, um, there's one more thing I need to show you with the dash cam. So one more thing I wanted to show you. When you're standing outside your car, if you hit left control I, it will show you in front of your dash cam. Now you can still move your character and all that, but it's going to be a little backwards the way that you move him. So where S is backwards, that would be forward. Where W is forward, that would be backwards, right? And you just kind of got to watch how you move. You know, it's a little it's a little weird at first, and it takes time to get used to it. And if you want to deactivate that camera, you would hit left control I again. So when you're on a traffic stop, you got somebody pulled over, you can hit that, and it will show you on the traffic stop. That's the only other thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, that is it for the full install LSPFR tutorial for 2024, guys. We did it once again for like, what is this, like the fourth year in a row I have did this? I think this is like the fifth video I've done on this. Um, and I'll, I'll think about doing a, a full install of open IV modifications and callouts like I did last year. Um, just bear with me, guys, because I do have a busy schedule now with my dialysis and stuff. It's very, very busy. I just want to double check to make sure I got everything out of the way. And I'm pretty sure we did. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you. The only thing I ask in return is that everyone watch this video, subscribe to the channel, and slap a like on the video. It's not that hard to do. It's free of charge, and it really helps the channel out. Guys and girls, on the road to 50,000 subscribers, love you all so much. God bless you guys, and remember that God is first in your life as always. If you put God first, you cannot go wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, everyone, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out.